It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. Yep, Charlemagne the guy. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week on the Brilliant Idiots, um, we're back. We're back. Okay? That's all. We're back. You it's know? Wednesday. We were recording and then some shit uh, messed up, but we'll get back. We're having a conversation. I'm going to propose to my girl tonight. Yes, he is. Um, it's going down. And um, and yeah, and it almost didn't go down because we got into a little fight this morning. Charlotte was breaking down how like basically what happens is when you are going to propose yes. or when you got a nice surprise. This is why surprises suck. I know what I got for you. This is more than a surprise, though. But this is more than a surprise. This is a life-changing, you're hanging your jersey up in the rafters, yep. all the ghost of pussy past are behind you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, you are moving forward with this one person, mm-hmm. and you are committing to them for the rest of your life. Mm-hmm. That is huge. That's huge. And I know that. Yes. But she doesn't know that. And that's not her fault. Yes. But she is operating with me. As if... Like, you regular. I'm regular. Listen, I'm about I'm to take... I'm regular. You regular. Like, you about to take this to a whole nother level. You just not boyfriend no more. I'm if not I boyfriend. ask you to do something this morning, yeah. Yeah. it should get done. If I want some cereal, make me some cereal. Can I get some cereal, bro? No, I got to go I work out. You got to go work out. You going to fuck around and not get proposed to? She asked me to walk the dog this morning. I'm like... On the day I'm going to propose to you. <laughs> Did you ask me to do what something? What time was it? I, it was 7 o'clock in the morning. Whoa! Hey, would you walk the dog? Hell no! I almost threw the ring right out the window. Now, the, now, 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 now. Um, you better go get that ring the with the dog re- you're about to walk. Only reason I would walk the dog is because Method Man says in All I Need, I'm going to walk these dogs so we can live in a fat-ass crib with thousands of kids. So I would have took that as a sign. Like, oh, she wants me to walk the dog this morning. All right, Method Man, all right, I'm going to walk the dog. But, but if I don't want to walk the dog, I don't want no back talk. And I have every right to not want no back talk because in my head, I know how much money this fucking ring costs. Ooh. But she doesn't know. <laughs> yes, it's a problem. That's right. Okay? That's right. It's a problem. That's right. Okay? That's right. How much ring costs? It's, 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 it's a decent amount. You know what I mean? How much? How many, how many, tell you how many, that, how you know many Trump mean? stimulus checks? How many? Tr- oh, it's a lot of stimulus checks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Heavily stimulated. Ah. Way too much. Way too much. Too I, much. Can't, I can't put a target on my girl's back, though. Ooh. Well, when did you know what I mean? I can put a target on her back. She walking around with jewelry like that. Is it insured? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, short. yeah, yeah. But when that shit pissed me off, too, huh? When do you buy it? I've been trying to get it over the last few months because you got to pick out, you know, you got to go and look at the stones and everything like that. It's a whole big ordeal. You know, you get the ring, you know what you're going to do for this person because you love them so That's much. Right. But at the same time, you you know what it is? After the ring, I'm going to get the treatment that I wanted the second I bought it. Does Schultz, that make sense? Yes, Schultz, you're proposing to her. Mm. In your mind as a man, you're saying to her, first of all, nobody else has proposed to you. I'm not saying you're not propose worthy. I'm just saying nobody else has. So I need I a little bit more respect. Fact. You don't? I don't know that for a fact. I'm pretty certain of it, but I don't know that for you a fact. You should ask. You should ask. I don't want to know that. Yeah, because if she said no, it's no guarantee she might tell you yes. Charlotte, why would you do this? <laughs> Charlotte, 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 why would well, you? the only. No, no, no. no. Yo, let me tell you. Let me tell you. Why do I put myself through this every week? No, I'm just saying. Why do I do this to myself? We're recording for five this. years. We're recording. Charlotte, the only person. Charlotte, the only motherfucking person where you go, you go, yo, I'm going to propose to my girl today. And he'll go, what do you think you sure she'll she say? Gonna say yes? what, do you th- what do you think the outcome of this evening will I'm be? I'm just saying. She might have told you to walk the dog so she can make a call to her other bay real quick. Why are you trying to get... <laughs> no, this is great. I, listen, I just... I, I would like... Wouldn't you want to know? I hate him, Before bro. you get down on your knees and propose, I wouldn't you want to make sure? I hate him. I know, well, I know you were with your girl 14 years before you fucking proposed. I wasn't but sure. But some of us can be certain quicker. Wait, but, is today a special day, though? Say like, what? Is, are you doing it... See, this is the thing. Because. This is the thing, Taylor. And this is the thing. The energy I'm around is Charlotte's oozing into you. It's today's <laughs> special day. It's special because I'm proposing. Yes, it's your proposal. It don't got to be no more special than that. It's Wednesday. But, <laughs> but the fact that you put that out there makes me feel like I should have picked a better motherfucking day to do a no, goddamn proposal. No, today's a good day. Today's no, a good gonna day. Ruin it. You're going to ruin it for this girl. Now. I should have never brought this up in this podcast. Now. <laughs> Is now a good time? You are doing it close to your birthday. Listen, oh, yeah, is, birthday. Good. Like, is now a good time to bring up today? 
to hey today i'm gonna walk i'm gonna walk out on my relationship shows, i'm gonna walk out on this podcast listen, everything's done i'm leaving now i, I will uh, say don't start with your hand open no i'm just don't saying. start with your hand open. the second this happened if i see listen. this part of your palm some horrible shit no. is coming next all i'm don't saying don't even begin it today is kim kardashian's birthday Mm-hmm. As well as Amber Rose. Whenever Charlamagne, <laughs> just no, whenever Charlamagne <laughs> looks like the white guy that won money off Jordan in the locker room, whenever Charlamagne got this <laughs> pose going on, <laughs> there's some horrible shit about to come out of his mouth. All I'm saying is Remember Amber. Remember last podcast where I was like, I miss the old Charlamagne. I don't. Am- Amber. <laughs> I don't. I missed the new one, hugging trees, giving inspirational advice. I'm just not saying. trying to break up weddings before they fucking no, happen. No, 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 no. I'm just saying Amber and Kim have been through some relationships. Kim's been married three times. I feel hot. Amber. Wow. <laughs> I feel hot in temperature. I feel hot in temperature and I don't like it. I don't like the temperature that I'm feeling right now. Do you have anything planned? What's the plan? I don't really turn it on the AC. I don't really go for it. What's the, pl- what's the plan for the night? How you going to do it? I'm tell- not going to tell you all nothing more. Come on. Tell no, me how more you information I give you all, the worse I feel about no, it. So I'm no, not going to no, tell no, you all no, nothing no, more. No, I might no. not even do it. We don't know what's going to happen. You'll see on Instagram tomorrow. <laughs> Just make sure you're down on one knee. Say again? Make sure you're down on one knee. How else is there to do it? I thought she got to get on one knee. She's getting the gift. (laughs) Yo, the ring I got her, she got to bend down on one knee. She should fall to her. She should fall. That's the thing. It should should hit her so hard. Then I bounce up. No, yeah, when you pull the ring out, she's like, (gasps) boom. Then I stand up. Boom. Yeah. Boom. You do. Boom. I go. <laughs> you do. You, you do. do. Right, let me answer this for you. You, you do. do. <laughs> <laughs> now, nah, proposals. Listen, propose. proposals are dope. I love it. How'd you do it? Oh, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> <clears throat> well, um, <laughs> I hate him. Listen, I hate him. We were in Anguilla, a uh, beautiful island that I love in the Caribbean. Mm-hmm. And um, I had dinner on the beach. So I had the, because, you know, we were staying at this resort. It's the Four yeah. Seasons now. Back then it was the Viceroy. Mm-hmm. And so we had uh, this, this special dinner on the beach. So everything was set up, the candles mm-hmm. and everything. And, you know, we were just talking. And like you said, we've been together for so long. I think it was, a, yeah, we were together like 14 years up to that point. We've been together 22 now. So I'm talking to her and I'm like, you know, talking to her about, you know, marriage, mm-hmm. you know, and, 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 and I was like, I just want to do it right. I said, yo, if I, if I was to propose to you, I would want to do it here. You know what I'm saying? On, on, on like a, a beautiful island like this. And we'd be doing something like this, sitting down, oh, you know, having, having dinner. And then, you know, and then wax I, came and then, out of nowhere with the ring. Nah. And then I was like, <laughs> and then, and then I was like, I would get up, you know what I mean? Like this. And then I would get down on my knees and she's looking and then I pulled the ring out. And she just burst into tears. Yo, so it was fire. She never got mad you for not proposing earlier. God damn! Why you gonna Yo, do me why like this? Show in a moment like that. That was a beautiful <laughs> moment. Why you do me like We're this? Feeling shows. good. Oh, it, oh, it hurts oh, yeah. now. Oh, oh, now it don't feel good. Do it, Charla. <laughs> I mean, just God damn. We can't even let the let the let the shot go no, in. No, we can't. For a Good job, Taylor. I don't know why I got his back for a second. Good job, Taylor. Taylor just coming right, The most disrespectful woman in the world is the black yeah, woman. Yeah, say that because he's trying to say something mad disrespectful right now. I'm just yeah. saying, yes, Taylor, Taylor, come in hacking right after I just hit a game winner. Yeah. Like God wait, damn. Wait, you know, you asked the right question, wait, Taylor. No, I asked she never got upset, said... Charlotte. Fourteen years. Yeah, I'm sure she was upset. I mean, like, I'm 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 positive she was upset. Mm-hmm. You know, pissed what I'm saying? off every. Time you bring Van to Anguilla, she's like fucking ain't gonna happen. No, this Van, year. Van, 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 no, 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 Van. Why the we, homies always gotta come? No, 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 Can no, no, I get no. some time alone? I, I, I proposed. I proposed. I proposed the first time we ever went to Anguilla. Oh, I wasn't sure if I was gonna ever make it back. <laughs> I didn't know. Wait, why wouldn't you make? I mean, it I just didn't know the funds were different back then. You know what I'm saying? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just didn't know. I was like 2013. You know what I mean? That was my first time in Angola. So I was I just didn't know. So I was like, you know what? If I'm going to do it, let me do it right now. Mm-hmm. But you know, thanks be to God, I've been going back to Angola quite frequently. That's fine. Ever since. But no, proposals are dope. All guys out there, you should really think your proposal's through. It's not, don't be like Martin, when Martin was like, okay, Gina, I'll marry you. You know what I mean? Like you really got to put thought into it and do it right, if you really believe she's the one. Yeah. If she's not the one, don't even worry about it. You don't even have to propose. But a trash proposal could work too. Like my my dad did a trash proposal. That was the 30s though. (laughs) 
I'm serious. What year was no seriously? What year was that? <laughs> that, was, that was a long time. It's, not, it's my dad. It's just my dad. <laughs> it's not my great great granddad. It's my dad, Sean. It can't be in the thirties. If they it? got married in the thirties, they'd have to wait forty years before I had that oh, me. Oh, so what the fifties? <laughs> Charlemagne. I'm serious. When was it? I'm not saying math is your strong suit, Charlemagne. <laughs> <laughs> but but it was the eighties, bro. It was the eighties? Yeah. Oh, okay. Even then, that's not trash. But it literally he had no ring, nothing. He was just in a taxi cab there going to Chinese food and he was like, Yo, you wanna get married or whatever? Maybe we should get married. Shout out to New York. That is the What's most. What's more New, New York Yorkish than that? Yo, let's go. You in a fucking taxi, you born nah, in Chinese you know the food. The most New York way to propose though is you take the Tim off before you get down on one knee so you don't <laughs> crease it. That would be the most New York way. <laughs> That's what uh wax is gonna do. You think so? Yo, shout to Wax. Heal up, Wax. I would love that. You in the backseat of a cab, like, yo, let's get married. Yo, you know, you should marry me. Yo, you should marry me. What? You should marry me. Yo, what you doing forever? <laughs> yeah, what you doing yo, forever? That's fire right there. <laughs> that's fire. That's gotta fire. Yo, you gotta use that tonight, Schultz. Yo, what you doing forever? What you doing forever? Ooh, Ooh I do like that though. That's nice. Schultz, that's a bar. You gotta use that tonight, Schultz. <laughs> Schultz, see? I'm back, yo, baby. I need, I need to hear this proposal set. I know you got a set, bro. I got. Give me got, the set, man. I, I know got, you got a set. Hey, babe, turn your phone. I got something. To say. <laughs> Yo, that would be dope too, though. Yo, what you think of this new sketch we did? Turn your phone, I got something to say. Ooh, I'm, no, no. Why not? No, use your word. Like, yeah, use it. No, what did no. I say before? God, you talk to him like he's six. Wait, use your words. <laughs> <laughs> use your words. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Well, Disrespect a man is the white man being spoken to by a black woman. <laughs> that might be true. Hey, bro. <laughs> hey, hey, did I get something hey, else right? That might be that true. That might be the most disrespected man. <laughs> I like that, though. I really do like that. Would you? What you, what you doing, doing forever? forever? Ooh, hold on, let me write that's that. That's rom com status, forget. bro. Let me write that down so the kid don't forget. No, that's rom com status. I like that. So we'll find out what happens um mm -hmm. next week. Shit, watch oh. she say no. I come here dejected like a Ooh. motherfucker, bro. Wait, Why would you even put that really in my head? You you really think that they're gonna reject? Like usually, girls not. You gotta gonna be nah, careful. Nah. You gotta be careful with it's Taylor. It's the kid, yo. It's the kid. You gotta be careful it's with the Taylor. Kid. It's Chelsea. It's the kid. That's true. But you got to be careful with Taylor. Taylor can dive into hater territory. Excuse oh. me. It, 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 she, Excuse she, don't, me? she don't even mean to. What are you but talking about? She can't about? She can't help it. She, what, is the hate? what am I hating about? Not being engaged. Why do I want to be engaged Not right being now? proposed to. Why would I be proposed to right now? So you don't want the guy you want to propose to you? Maybe one day. But I don't, honestly. Speak it to the universe, honestly, Taylor. Yes or no? Me and Do, him had to talk about it, but I'm not going to discuss it with y'all right now. What do you say? I'm not going to discuss it with y'all. <laughs> what do you say? Y'all are crazy right now. What do you say? What do you no, say? No, we just had a conversation about marriage. That's it. He was asking you or you was asking him? No, we just had a conversation about marriage and that's all I'm going to leave it to. What was the conversation? Like, yo, we should never get married. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, saying, what, you doing? what you doing for the rest of the year? <laughs> <laughs> Trying to quarantine together, or whatever. I heard another lockdown's coming. <laughs> what you doing for the rest of the year? Um, what did you see this week that was positively brilliant? I made you say, "What a fucking idiot!" Oh God, what did I see this week? Uh, yeah, the Chris Pratt thing. I think was was really. I'm stupid. over it. I'm over it. I'm yeah. over. I'm over social media. You want to break down what it was? Though? I don't even really fucking know. I saw everybody saying Chris Pratt was MAGA. Chris Pratt is a Trump supporter. Right. Number one, who gives a shit? This is fucking America. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you want to support Donald Trump, if you want to vote for Donald Trump, you have that right as a citizen. Just right. like I have the right to support whoever the fuck I want to support. Whatever. You know what I mean? I'm not judging you. I'm lying. I am judging you, but I don't give a fuck. Right? And then everybody just ran with this. So I'm looking to see what he said. Yeah. Did he put a hat on? Like, where did they get this from? I saw, I got nothing. Yeah. So I'm still trying to figure out where that even started. Yeah, I have no clue. I thought it started from this, like, uh, this magazine did this poll, like, who's the best Chris? Who was on it? Uh, Chris Evans, Chris Pine, Chris Hemsworth, and then Chris uh, Pratt. And then they said Chris Pratt was the worst, and they were like, why is he the worst? And then they are like... It's tough competition, though. Yeah, it's tough competition. I, mean, I think he might be the best, bro. I think it's it's Hemsworth or him. What do we, when, when you say the best, what are you talking about? Looks, dick? What body. You, body, yeah. yeah what are you body. Talking about? So it's his body. No, no. And all, oh. honestly, I don't know. I just think it's like overall best. But I think like acting, looks, 
I don't like any of them. I like Chris Evans. I think Chris Evans is the worst, bro. Really? Why? Yeah, acting wise, he's not funny. Chris Hemsworth funny. That's Thor. Thor is funny. Chris Evans was funny in Fantastic Four. Chris Evans? Yeah, when he played uh, he played the Human Torch, he was funny he, in the, uh, the original Fantastic Four. I thought funny. Michael B. Jordan was a Human. Second Torch. one. That was the that was the oh. relaunch of Fantastic. He's Four. been superhero in this shit for a minute. Yeah, yeah. Dude. Chris Evans was the Human Torch. Yeah, I think Chris Pratt and Chris Hemsworth are top two, and then the other. I think Chris Evans is actually the worst, low key. And I'm not trying to hate. I just don't think he's that great. Really? Yeah. I would actually go with Chris Evans. Mm. I did an interview with um, Stephen Colbert for Interview Magazine. And I did it the week Chris Evans' dick pic leaked. Oh, does he have a piece? Yeah, and he they, Captain they, America they, worthy. They, yeah, it, 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 America's Real penis. Talk? Bring America's, it up, Al. America's Bring penis. It up. America's penis. You know I look and, at and, famous and, dicks, bro. You know I love looking at famous dicks. They asked me, Stephen <laughs> Colbert asked me. He said, "What advice would I give to Chris Evans?" I said, "None. He's getting great reviews." Yeah. Chris Evans is all the way to the left. That's the that goddamn the... guy whose eyes are matching his coat. That guy's a dream, bro. You're buzzing. Which one? Which one? Chris Fucking Evans? Chris Evans. <laughs> He's a dream, bro. That guy's a dream, bro. Yo, that's the most real shit. <laughs> Yo, you really love Captain America. I think that you're you're like a rom- a roman- what, a romance. Is that the word? Romance? You're no, romance no, no, no. by think, the character. I just think Chris is the best out of all of these Chris's. Nah, bro. And I, I think really he wears do. a wig, dog. I think he got fake I don't hair. even know this third Yo, guy. it's Thor, dog. The third guy. I don't know who that is. He's the guy that's in uh, well, uh, Wonder Woman. Who the fuck watched Wonder Woman? I ain't watched that shit. Oh, I didn't. Watch I thought Wonder you would Woman. watch it. You like? I don't. Like, I hate DC. You know, I hate DC. Really? I hate DC comics. So please don't think it's because I love Captain Marvel. So don't say it's, that was misogynistic. I just didn't. I don't like DC comics. Yeah. That I didn't watch Captain right. Marvel. Amazing. Corny, it was really good. I like. I mean, I liked it. Why? Um. I don't know. Yeah, it's all good, bro. <laughs> I don't know. It's all good, like, dog. You don't got a minute. It's all good. We. I like. Reason. I like. I like the fact that the scrolls was in it. I guess. I don't know. Yeah, we don't care about. Let's be honest. Would you pull it up his penis or not? <laughs> I can't find it. You can't find Captain America's cock. He's going to Pornhub. <laughs> Scrub the internet. They no might have. No, they might have. They might have. They might have. What are you porn they or something like that? It's got to be. And it's not even on there? <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, it was bro. out though. It was out. But I mean. yeah, Hard or go soft? Twitter. Go on Twitter. Hard I'm going to be honest with you. I didn't see it. But how the fuck you know if you didn't see because it? Because I saw all of the women that I follow from Instagram to Twitter were commenting on it, ah, and they were giving him rave reviews. Like really? he, yeah, oh yeah, yeah, he uh, allegedly he got a five star dick. Five star. That's what dick. I'm hearing in these streets. I don't wow. know. Wow, Al, you got it. What's the guy's name? Chris. Chris what? Evans. Thank you, Taylor. You could find them. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you though, Chris Pratt. I would rank him third on that Chris list. Okay, fair. Because you you overhype Chris Evans a bit, in my opinion. I mean, this other guy's not even a fucking superhero. Chris Pine is, yeah, he's not. He's not. That's a what I'm saying. He's, he's not a he's superhero. Like an or a secretary. Yeah, or something. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But that I'm, being said, it's stupid. Like, why are we judging people by the worst intentions? You know, or like not the worst intentions. Like, why are we judging people by like the worst values of the groups that they're part of? I miss the days, and I really mean this. I miss the days when people had their politics tucked, when people had their religion tucked. Everything isn't for everybody. Like, these aren't conversations. Well, that's literally what he does. He tucks it. <laughs> <laughs> what you mean? Man, why are we laughing? Did I miss something out? Oh, I thought you saw Chris Evans. Because I was like, he didn't tuck nothing. Oh, no. I was talking about Chris Pratt. Like, he literally doesn't tell anybody about his lifestyle or what he does. He literally goes to a church. And then some people are like, well, they have anti-LGBTQ views. And it's like, well, it's church. They're not going to be like the most rainbow flaggy about homosexuality. Yeah, it's tr- all churches are like that yeah. for the most part. I mean, most I haven't been to church in a while. Worship. If churches are more progressive now, let me know. But I mean, most churches, they they they, they go, go off based the Bible, off the Bible. Bro. Yeah, Bible yeah, yeah, is yeah, pretty yeah, clear. Yeah, man yeah. shall not lay with another man. And that's what it says. It says it's an abomination. I don't agree with that, but I just think that. Yeah, it looks like a black. How big thing. is the blur? Nah, nah, I don't want to see no Loch Ness Monster like picture of his dick, right? dick, bro. I want to see the full fucking dick. Mm-hmm. Where? Oh, so I saw, I got a different video then. Okay. You never fucked the white boy, Taylor? He only ate, uh, boy boy only ate me out. Okay. The best, though. He was all right. Nah, we the best. Um, what we else happened best. this week? Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah, the Chris Pratt thing is fucked up, though, only because I've, they, they do that to people all the time because we live in this, like... I don't even want to call it a game of telephone no more. Mm-hmm. People just don't do research. Mm-hmm. Like they did the same thing to Ice Cube when uh, Katrina Pearson posted about Ice Cube and saying Ice Cube 
was working with the Trump administration and yada, yada, yada. Like that never happened. Mm. Like and none of that ever happened. And nobody went to go to the root of it <clears throat> and see what exactly Ice Cube said. What was his connection? Like, because he came out saying Ice that he Cube, was willing to work with people who are trying to help black people. And he, he's working with the Platinum Plan, right? Well, he, he has a Ice Cube uh, sat down with like Dr. Claude Anderson and um, uh, Dr. Boyce Watkins, my man Derek. Uh, I can't remember Derek's last name, but Derek got a PhD in economics from the University of North Carolina. And he sat down with a, a lot of different people to come up with this contract for black America, mm. you know, and he's been pushing the contract for black America. Uh, Ice Cube has talked to the Democratic Party. He's talked to the Republican Party. The Democratic Party told him, hey, we'll wait till after the election. Which makes sense because they can't do anything anyway. They're not in no fucking position of power. Mm. Their Trump administration read some of it. And because of what they read in that, they adjusted some of their platinum plan because of the stuff that was in Ice Cube's contract to black America. Fire. Um, I, I I think so. And, 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 and listen, I think Ice Cube is doing what every American citizen should do. I don't yeah. care if you're Ice Cube, Donnell that delivers packages for Amazon Prime. Felicia, that goddamn souls in lace fronts for a living. You have the right to do what you want with your vote. Mm -hmm. You have the right to understand that your vote is quid pro quo. Mm -hmm. You have the right to demand things for your vote. You have the right to ask questions. Now, mm -hmm. my question for anybody who's upset with, you know, Ice Cube talking to Ice Cube's team talking to the Trump administration, <laughs> riddle me this. Let's just say hypothetically Donald Trump wins on November 3rd. I don't know if he is or not, mm -hmm. right? Are we not supposed to engage? Like everybody's got a plan if Biden and Harris get in the White House. But what about if Trump's in the White House? What if your mayor is a Republican Trump supporter? What if your governor is a Republican Trump supporter? Are you not supposed to engage? I don't think we as black people can afford to sit on the sidelines and just wait for the party that we love to be in positions of power yeah, it, to demand things. This isn't uh, tribal. It shouldn't be. We're looking at like it's sports. It's not sports. It's the other team might win, but then they, they become your team. <clears throat> Whether you like it or not, they're going to create the laws that are for you. So you so should you be part of the process. Be part of the process. And, and, and by the way, only get thing, the most out of it. That's it. Only thing they can do is reject you. But I'm not mad at you for trying. I'm not going to be mad at Ice Cube for trying. Somebody has to engage. Like somebody has to engage. Now, do you want to make the argument that, oh, you know, he's a rapper. Rappers shouldn't be having those discussions. All right. Fine. Well, how about this? I just told you that he sat down with, 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 with people who know what the fuck they're talking about. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? So what I would encourage, you know, guys like Cube to do <clears throat> is when you on TV and stuff, bring them, bring them with you. Mm. Zoom in, Dr. Claude. You know what I'm saying? Zoom in. Let me, what's Derek's last name? Look up Derek for me. Put Derek uh, uh, economic. He has a PhD in economics from the University of North Carolina. He got like an afro. But like, yo, bring them on with you. Same thing with Diddy. I thought what Diddy did was dope this week. You know, I did an interview. Derek, Derek what? Derek Neal. Let me see. Is it Derek Neal? You put economics. No, put what? put put PhD, PhD University of North Carolina economics. Uh, Diddy, you know I did an interview with Diddy uh, last week, and he launched our Black Party, but he didn't actually launch it. Our Black Party was already launched. Mm. It was launched by um, Dr. Wes Bellamy, who who's the former vice mayor of Charlotte. Bill West Virginia and Dr. I mean not Dr. Mayor Candace Hollingsworth, who is the mayor of Hyattsville, Maryland. So these are two people, one's an elected official, one wasn't elected official, so they have experience. Mm. So they crafted this this black party, you know what I mean? For 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 black people to be a part of. They don't want to be Republicans, they don't want to be Democrats, and they vote in blocks and they vote their interests. So Diddy's putting his money, his resources, and his influence behind that. But that's smart, because that's what he should be doing. Mm. Take that, take that. You know what I'm saying? Empower those people. And I think I think Cube should be doing the same thing, but I'm not mad at them for being wanting to be part of the political process, mm. for wanting to be engaged. Mm. Like why why are you why are we upset about that? Yeah. Derek I think Hamilton? it's stupid. Derek Hamilton. There you go. That's but that's him. how we silence people. We just connect them to someone that's radioactive and then uh apply all that radioactivity <laughs> to them as well. I mean, they try to do this with you all the time with Minister Farrakhan, right? Mm -hmm. They just mm -hmm. they go, You must feel the exact same way as this other person about the worst things that they feel. Exactly. When this when you when this when there's people who have a storied history, right? Mm -hmm. Like somebody like Minister Farrakhan's been around for sixty years. Well, even even Minister Farrakhan, right? Like we don't have to use we don't have to use that as as a specific example, but you can get something out of Minister Farrakhan and when he He's talks. done a million speeches. Sure. The speech that I heard that I gravitated towards, which is about 
empowerment and uplifting the black community and unity and group operation. And I'm a, I study the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. I love Malcolm X. So, of course, I'm going to listen to things that come out of Farrakhan's mouth. The things that you don't like about Minister Farrakhan, the things he says, don't tag that to me. Well, that's what they do because it's an easy way to silence you and get you to shut the fuck up. Yeah. But they don't keep that same energy with themselves. Right. Because the idea behind that is I'm going to tag you with all the bad shit about this person yes. or company or church or congregation. But the person that's tweeting you got their phone made by Apple, you know, that uses slave labor, but they're not taking any accountability for that. Nobody takes accountability for their own bullshit. That's what I'm saying. It's like you never can only assume. Why do we only assume the worst possible thing? with the people that were criticizing with their intentions. Why yeah. is it always the worst possible? Why does Chris Pratt have to live up to potentially the worst thing in that church? And why can't you Why can't you like Chris Pratt for whatever reason? I don't know why you would like him. I like Chris Pratt. I though. like Chris Pratt. I like, I I like him in Guardians of the Galaxy. Too, he actually he actually funny too. I like Chris Pratt, I'm not gonna lie. So why, would you, why can't you like Chris Pratt even if he's a Trump supporter? Right, well I guess what I would you know focus what I'm on with the Trump thing is like, you don't know why he likes Trump. Like, he might be a single-issue yeah, yeah, voter, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, he yeah. literally might be like, listen, I don't believe in abortion, and this is the candidate that seems like they believe in abortion less than the other one, even though Biden's a devout Catholic, allegedly, and Trump has probably had a million abortions. But you're going to vote based on that one thing. Like, if you're a black person, and you're voting specifically on a black agenda, and you don't care if it's Republicans or Democrats that bring it, whoever does, I'm not knocking a black guy for that. Just like I'm not lock, knocking a religious person for voting for the person who they believe is more religious. Yes, absolutely. That makes total sense to me. I mean, listen, that's what they, they got mad at 50 this week, too. Uh, yeah. They got mad at 50 because, you know, he he saw Biden's alleged tax plan <clears throat> and he had a reaction that a lot of us had but didn't say out loud. That's the thing. He said out loud. Like, <laughs> we all felt that way. Like, what? We want to spend 62% of our money? Fuck, Fuck out of no. here, bro. No. You out of your goddamn mind. 50 literally, yeah. his thumbs, just tweeted out loud what a lot of us were, were, were thinking in our heads. But guess what else, Schultz? Mm -hmm. That right there mm -hmm. is probably the main reason people voted for Trump in 2016. Yo, that's the thing. People that's the reason. Money. Like, people don't want to pay that much in taxes. We talk about single issues. Bruh. That's a lot of people's most singular issue. It's the only issue. <laughs> like, Yo, all these people, they, like, tie up their vote right they, they tie up their vote and they tie up their like their their morality into these like noble causes mm -hmm. right like they go trump is with all these QAnon people go trump is stopping the pedophiles that's why i'm voting for him all these people go like i don't want big government like conservatives are like i'm against government tyranny government affecting your life right it's like bro you just want lower taxes shut up you're not some freedom fighter you're not Alexander Hamilton over here. Amen. Just fucking relax. You just want some more of your money. And I understand that. That's relatable. We all want a little bit more Everybody of Everybody does. It's not the craziest thing to say. <laughs> I totally get it. That's why you know I, what you're I'm saying? Like, don't wrap it in some like noble no. cause. Like That's why presidential candidates have to release their tax plans. Because that means something to Americans. That means the most. <laughs> this is the most. In a lot, in a lot of ways, it does. So I get it. I just I just think it's whack. Um and That's I what think people it's, don't realize with that, it's hard to cut, but like your, the amount of money that you pay in taxes is the difference between like your kid going to camp that summer or not. It's the, it's the difference between creating generational wealth. Oh, that's what, on a big level. Yeah. I'm saying on a smaller level, it literally might be like, uh, do I have four thousand dollars for my kid to go to camp Word this up. summer? No. Nope. Okay, Word up. you can hang out with us. Word up. There's a lot. Of, that's a big, big change in a lot of people's life. And man. I mean, even though Biden said he's only doing it for, and which, which which actually is wild too, he said he's only doing it allegedly for people who make more than four hundred thousand dollars. Right. Right. Bro, do you understand when you four hundred thousand dollars? If you take getting sixty percent of that cut, that's not even that's 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 less than half. So you're taking home like what I don't know one fifty one sixty. Do you so, want to work from January to July for free, bro? <sighs> for free? Imagine someone said to you, "Yo, at the radio, we'd like you to work from January to July for free." What would you tell them? I gotta ask some questions. Yeah. I mean, by the way, a lot of people were presented with that this year, though. I mean, that's that I'm sure that happened at companies throughout the country this year. You know what I'm saying? No, because because, right. you know, people do the things where they, they was furloughing employees or they want you to, you know, take weeks off unpaid weeks. You know what I mean? Just to mm -hmm. save money. But that's um, different. That's sacrifice during a global pandemic. We're just talking about taxation. And no, 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 no. I'm not doing that. January to July for not free, that. bro. I'm not doing that. I think, honestly, if they take over 50 percent. 
it should be criminal. Because now I'm working for the government. They're not working for me. You're my employee. Yeah. By the way, Joe Biden is not doing that shit. Let's not let's not get it fucked up. I mean, people always trip off, uh, you know, look at that shit, man. 62.6% in California. I think that's what will rate. happen when you add city tax, state tax, and federal tax. 60% in Jersey. Come on, bro. New York State, 58%. New York City, 62%. I live in Jersey and New York. I work in New York. I live in New Jersey. Oh, yeah. You're double fucked. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you're double you don't fucked. Y'all don't understand. Yeah, it's bad. But, but, but Biden's not doing that. And the reason Joe's not doing that is because people forget Trump paid $750 in taxes. He paid that low amount because of Obama's tax, tax laws, tax rates, right? So Biden's not doing that. Biden got too many corporate sponsors to be taxed. Well, that's the, thing, the, like, the corporate people still get the loopholes. That's the bullshit with this tax plan. That's what I'm I, saying. I only looked it over a little bit. It's like you tax on the people that don't have those corporate abilities to like get around the tax. So like you have corporations set up. You get paid as a corporation. So that's you right. You decide how much money you make technically. You know what I mean? The business can make the money, but you don't pay out yourself. But for somebody who's like a, an executive at like some business and making $400,000 a year, that kills them because they can't do the same amount of write-offs. Lord have mercy. I have several businesses thank god but you have the ability to but if you're an employee at a company yeah, not the man. owner of a company yeah, you might not man. and that's where they get you and that's why the the really wealthy people they're not affected by this tax plan the same people <laughs> it's really fucked up it actually just attacks this one specific section of, of the uh of the economy but it is what it is and, and, and with that said i'm 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 voting biden harris you know what i'm saying yeah but i'm voting that because i'm i, I don't want us to I really think we're on the we could be on the verge of being in a fascist society and I don't want that. I think that's very reasonable. That's it. Like it's yeah. just it's just that simple. Like that's 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 my reasoning. And because I think, you know, right. for the things that are impacting black people, my interest, the black community, I feel like the left will be more receptive, yep. you know, than the right. But what I do like about and this is what I'm getting to, what I do like about what Cube is doing, Diddy is doing, what everybody is doing, they're engaged. And yep. I want us to be engaged after November 3rd. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Regardless of who gets in the White House, we yeah. have to keep pushing the line. We have to keep demanding things. We have yeah. to keep showing up the way we're showing up now. Yes, it's good that he has a black party. Yes, it's good that Ice Cube has his contract with Black America. Yes, it's great that Alicia Garza has the black her black agenda with Black Futures Lab. Yes, it's great that Tamika Mallory and them are on the ground protesting against, you know, the attorney general. Like we need all of that energy to make real change. You know what I mean? So yeah. I'm with it. I don't think that we should keep our we should keep our foot on everybody's neck. I don't care if it's Trump, yes. Biden, Harris. And by the way, we gotta hold Biden and Harris more accountable. Yeah. More accountable because they're the ones that be out here acting like they give a fuck about us. Exactly. So when they get in that goddamn White House, foot walk it. to ass. Walk it. You talking that shit now, walk That's it. That's right. That's right. And by the way, they have to, because if they don't, you know, somebody like Senator Harris has to think about her political future. Mm-hmm. Fuck this up. You might not get another shot. Yeah, because because right? you do it right, you might be in the White House for the next twelve years. Yeah, maybe we yeah, don't know. It's possible. You know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, man. <clears throat> I'm so uninspired by both candidates. Me too. It's really hard, and I don't know. I might not vote, bro. But we get another debate tonight, though. That's it. thank and God it, for the entertainment. And they got the mute button. I don't like that. Yeah, but I like it because Trump's just gonna actually yell. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's gonna yes. be that much yes. better. He's gonna yes. yell yes. over, and You're it will right. be picked up right. in Joe's mic. So you're just going to hear him at a distance <laughs> yeah. screaming. Yo, if I'm Donald, Bring jo- Joe's own. talking, yeah. mute the mic, nigger. <laughs> He's like, what did Joe say that? <laughs> what did Joe just say? I'm t- like, it's going to be fantastic tomorrow. I'm going to be honest with you. We don't need another one, though. I have to say what a fucking idiot to whoever decided to have another debate. There's no mm. need. Do we really need another debate? Yes. Why? Because there's nothing else on, bro. <laughs> we need entertainment, dude. We just need entertainment. We really do. You know what I mean? We really do. You can only watch so many podcasts. Fucking you know America, I mean? bro. It's, it's true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Joe Rogan got uh, no podcast this week because Jamie got COVID. Oh, I saw that. And he was supposed to have Kanye on this week. That's what they were saying. Yeah, he was supposed yeah. to have Kanye on Friday. But that's the thing. So they're shut down. So we can't watch, uh, you know, three hour long Rogan episodes. Yeah. I so definitely- now we have a huge gap in our day. We need... A debate, bro. What did Simone say? I didn't see that. What did Simone say? She, the $400,000 thing you were saying. To be clear, Joe Biden is not going to raise taxes to anybody. 
uh, who makes clear, less than four hundred thousand dollars a year. If you make yeah. more than four hundred thousand dollars a year, a Biden president, your taxes will go up because he believes the wealthiest people in this country have to pay their fair well, we, share. That's not the wealthiest people. That's why I think it's absolute horseshit. Oh. And I like some of them, but exactly, you're not making the wealthiest people pay. You're making rich people pay, but the wealthy people still going to pay zero. Yeah, Bill Gates not paying not no rich. fucking taxes. No. You think Bill Gates giving sixty <clears throat> percent of his money? Suck a dick. If so you think Amazon's that. gonna start paying taxes Bullshit. now. They've been paying zero. That's well, why that shit is going to come back to haunt them. Yeah, right they're, yeah, they're paying zero because they technically aren't making money. That's now, the genius of the system. What was we just talking about before that? Gay sex. No, <laughs> Joe Rogan, right? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Joe, yeah, yeah. Joe. Yeah. Oh, I got Kanye and what a fucking idiot. Oh, talk oh, to yeah. me. Yeah, I just thought what he did was I, like he Issa Rae was on SNL this weekend and Issa Rae yeah. threw like a, like she just said fuck Kanye or something like that and yeah, f him f f Kanye and and Kanye tweets this. What, what's the tweet? Pull up. It's like, I've always I felt that up, SNL used black voices it, to silence black people or something like that. It's not up there? It's, it's on here. Hold on. I just like to read it verbatim because I just it sounds so stupid. You don't want to misquote him. I don't want to misquote him. You want me to look it up? Okay, there All it goes. Right, Kanye says, I've always said SNL uses black people to hold other black people back. My heart goes out to Issa Rae. I'm praying for her and her family. I know that the 20 years of service that I've paid in the entertainment field has furthered our ability to become more successful. I'm going to tell you what I hate about that tweet. Okay, okay. I can't stand when somebody says... I've always said about some shit we've never heard them say. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've yeah. we've never. Kanye yeah. has done SNL seven times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just did SNL two years ago, yeah, yeah. and you had the MAGA hat on. You held everybody hostage on stage for an hour and some change. Okay, Chris Rock hosted SNL a couple weeks ago. Chris Rock wanted was going to bring you out. SNL said no because he's a presidential candidate. So if they give him time, they got to give the other candidates equal time as well. Mm. So from then to now, when did you come to the conclusion that SNL uses black people to hold other black people back? Yeah. Come on, man. I think it's convenient, bro. It's, I, hate, I hate that. I don't like that. And I hate when people play the race card when... They're There's the main more than ones. enough racism going on out there. Yes, you don't need to play the card. The game is being played out Be there in the streets. And because of because of because a black woman had an opinion about you, <laughs> SNL ain't make Issa Rae do that. Kanye, everybody, a lot of black people feel that way about you. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> what are you talking about? Like you're like you're, 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 Issa Rae's not the only person that feels like that. Like stop. Yeah. Like, so who's using all the other black people to speak out against you? Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Black people don't need SNL to speak out against you. Black people do not need anybody to speak out against Kanye West. Yeah, Kanye West, you do a perfectly good job on your own of making black people speak out against you. I don't know if it's the slavery was a choice comments. Yeah. I don't know if it's the you know Harriet Tubman freed the slave, but she didn't really free the slave. You know what I'm saying? I don't yeah. know. I think those are all valid reasons for black people to speak out against you. Kanye. Yeah. Hey, yeah. come on, stop, knock it off. What else we got? Well, uh, Tori and Megan, what a fucking You want to talk about Tori and Megan? I was going to say it's an idiot because they're not confessing anything. Both of them? Yeah. What? You? <laughs> Yo, what? Young, I'm still a Megan fan. Young Team Stallion? <laughs> so wait a minute. What do you mean? But they're not saying anything, though. Like, they just keep going around the bush about what happened. And it's just getting annoying. I don't even care about it. You know what's really funny? Rick Ross and Tori Lane's beef. That's been entertaining. <laughs> I've been following that on Instagram. That was Have funny. you guys been following it? I did see a couple of that. Rick Ross tried to buy him the smart car. And uh, and then Tori called Rick Ross out about like promoting the Bel Air and shit like that. No, Tori said, I want my fucking car. No, but even before that, like <laughs> he had a, a bottle of two bottles of the Bel Air and he tagged Bel Air in the thing. And he was like, yo, Tori, you shouldn't have dropped your album the same week as the Brianna. Bird. I saw that. I saw that. And then Tori was like, yeah, you, maybe you shouldn't be promoting your champagne as you bring attention to Brianna Taylor. Yikes. And I think that was a good argument. I, yeah. Why are you promoting the champagne if you really care about the social issues? Like yeah. he's putting out his album promoting his shit. You criticizing him promoting his own shit while you promoting your shit. Yeah, I saw the live Tory did last night. Oh, how was it? I didn't see the whole thing. I just, I, I mean, I literally just heard snippets when Angela Yee was playing it over the air. Yeah. Um, I feel the same way. I'm like, yo, Tory, don't. Why do all that talking when you can just tell us what happened? But Nina, clearly he can't say anything. Because it's an open trial? It's, it's, but he's, he did a whole album about it. You're doing an IG you Live. Something. You're talking around it. Just tell us what happened. I don't care if it's an open trial. If I didn't do it, I'm telling you. Simple. Exactly. Simple as that. If someone said, yo, you murdered somebody to me, Schultz, I'd be like, I ain't do it. Yeah. Oh, it's an open trial? Good. I'm going to tell them in the open trial, and I'm going to say it outside the That's open trial. Right. I didn't do it. If you didn't shoot her, 
just simply say you didn't shoot what her. happened. Yeah, tell us what happened. Like you know what I mean? Like yeah. like it's it's just weird, and it, I don't I don't understand. It. I don't I really don't understand the logic of why he continues to even speak about it at all. There's a video apparently out of the shooting. Really? There's a video out of the shooting, and and yeah, no, it's you, not. No, no. 100 percent there's a video you look it up on twitter right now and you know it's story because when he shoots the gun goes pew pew shut up pew pew tori watches brilliant idiots too he does yeah, he shout out to you tori you watch it brilliant idiots. we know you watch uh instagram i'm not gonna say shout out i'm just gonna say tori watches <laughs> hold on now let me think about that let me think about that hold on but hold no on. no no so I, I can shout, shout out tori shout out meg i just hope Everybody well, does Meg watch Brilliant Idiots? I have no idea. Probably not. Probably not. But I, 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 I just wish healing for everybody in this situation. She's and healed up, bro. She was dancing. She was doing. Come on, emotionally oh, though. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just, yeah. Emo <laughs> just emotionally, and <laughs> I, and, and, and I hope she whatever. Got Wolverine level of healing, bro. Imagine to be dancing the next day after a well, gunshot, bro. It was it the next day? She was no. a couple days later. She was dancing on a virtual uh, performance. Remember? No, cause Meg can dance her ass off. I saw that Meg. I saw a video of Meg this week mm -hmm. dancing to some song that she said she was going to do a remix to. And that shit just make you want to have an ass. It does. That huh? shit just make you want to do that shit. Her like, uh -huh. like the way it is. It's like its, it's own like, instrument. Yo, it's it's like a muscle. Like it just looks wild. Like the way yeah. she did it was like on some Chris Brown, Michael yeah, Jackson yeah. level choreography. Yeah. Like I've never seen a woman what you're doing right utilize now. her ass like that. I know that. what you're doing right now what? and you don't need to do it to me but I understand what you're doing right now. What? <laughs> what? I understand what you're When you just see something you're like oh my god that's so fucking hot but your girl's next to you so no, you no, no, like, no, 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 act no, no, like there's no, no, technique and shit involved. You're like oh yeah the moves <laughs> and the choreography this is like Michael Jackson babe it's, it's no it's different. The, it's the, the same texture. thing and look it's, it's a texture. muscle. What sort of muscle group? Oh have I seen her dance? Okay. Pull up the video. I got yes, tons I of evidence up, no, 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 it's different. Yeah, like it, it, it literally looks like bro. moves. Yeah, it's moves. I'm it? serious, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. You see this oh. bullshit he trying I to pull? Promise like, you, I promise you. Like, promise you. Yo, like we haven't done this exact thing. In that way, but she was actually in a dance studio. I've seen her twerk like regular. Like look at this shit. Yeah, look at Why it. Why the yeah. fuck is this like, sideways? Oh Alex? Man, she's bent down. Holy shit. Yeah. No, why? Just why? And you got you got to hear it with the music. Let's. Push see, look, 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 hold up. Do you see JT from the City Girl? JT from the City Girl said, Girl, how the fuck you do that? That's real. Yeah. You gotta yeah. watch it. Young Miami says, Okay, let me get my shorts. Hold on. Why is the shit sideways like that? Shorts, I'm telling you right now, this shit is like the moonwalk, bro. Listen, I know what you're doing right now, and I'm gonna roll no, with you not. on it. it has nothing Anytime to do you with compliment that. another girl, you have to make it science. No, no man. It, nice. it yes, has it nothing is. to do. I promise Wait, you. You're girl. We'll get jealous if you comment on a girl's ass. Like if Hold on. We're watching this right now. So right now, she, this is how you... Okay, she's just twerking. No, man. It's something else. Do your head like this. Turn it turn, turn it sideways. Let me show you something. <laughs> <laughs> no, this is good. Yeah, yeah. I've seen all this before. No, it's the way she started it. Start. Go back to the beginning now. And, and you got to hear the music with it. The way she's on beat with that shit, yo. I promise you, this has nothing to do with her ass. She's up on her goddamn toe. Yeah. I don't be paying no attention. I don't look at other women. But it's so amazing. I'm not it's really mad. I don't, I don't buy any. I know what's going on. I mean, not, you're good at amazing. this, Charlotte. You're good at it. Can you do that? Say what? Can you do that? What you just did? The bullshit that you just no, pulled? Can I do that? Do I'm an Megan's expert doing. at it. I've been doing this for years. Let's see. How do I bullshit? How would I bullshit out of that? <laughs> Play the video. I'll show you how I watched that with my girl. No, I'm saying, could you do play, that dance? Play that video. I'll show you exactly how I watched that video with my see, girl. I'll show see. you exactly how you do it. This is. Listen, you but it's very simple. This is all you do. You watch the video and you go, "This is what I I go. I go oh shit, my knees would explode if I tried to do that." Look at, <laughs> how the fuck does she get literally made my ankle? Which you just talk about injuries, all that kind of other stuff, and how difficult it would be for you. Look at that. It's the truth, though. This is yo. I'm telling you, it's it's something do about God, this. Do people like this? That's the other thing I do. I go, do people like this? <laughs> Why would anybody be into that? Like, what's going on with that? That's so yeah. weird. That's such a weird thing to that do. Is, like. This has nothing to do with her yeah. ass. I promise you, it's, yo. Yeah, it got nothing to do with it. Like, it's with the ass. moves. It's the movement. Yeah, it is, man. This shit is like the moonwalk. Bro. I saw the moonwalk. 
Google Michael Jackson moonwalk and tell me. You know what the moonwalk is? Stop bullshit. I had enough of this. I had enough. I'm not dealing with this anymore. Sorry, man. Google Michael Jackson moonwalk. Nah, bro. How are you comparing the moonwalk to that? That's how great that is. You know how you could do the moonwalk? You could do the moonwalk on how slippery the floor was after you watched that video. That's where you could do the moonwalk. (laughs) Now, look at, ho, ho, ho. Look at, look at Michael Jackson, Uh right? And then think about Megan. Yeah. That's Slash. Yeah. You got, you got to fast forward. Come on, fast forward. You'll see him. You'll know who he is when you see him. There you go, Alex. Come on, a little bit more. You'll know exactly who he is. You'll know when he's doing the moonwalk. Here it goes. There he Here it goes. goes. Ooh. Get it? Ooh. Go Come on, him. man. The stallion. <laughs> Come on, yo. Come on. Come on, man. You can't tell me you didn't feel that when you saw him do the moon. When you saw Megan do what she did right now, it didn't make you feel like the moonwalk? The stallion. No, it didn't. Charlotte. Come on, bro. Because I wanted to do the moonwalk when I saw it, and I did not want to do whatever Megan was doing. Why do you think they call her ass the moon? <laughs> the moon the she's mooning out. you the moonwalk come on bro it's a correlation yeah, here yo that you. right there is, yo come on man what's effortless one motion and she's dancing to a song no I can't believe you haven't seen this before she that right it. there yeah when she this do is, this shit this is the most it's oh, literally she, for everybody who's just listening all she's doing is twerking nothing new that about the way true. she's twerking it's bro, a different she's on her, her, she's it's on not, her it's tippy a toes it's a particular type of twerk though don't make it seem like it's just some regular shit let's I try s- it say what let's try it alright you go first <laughs> and then I'll do it <laughs> hold on listen Wait, listen <laughs> this is one I'm, I'm just gonna show you how difficult you are so committed no, 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 you no, no, are no. so committed this is how difficult this is this okay, like go. she's on her tippy toes yeah, yeah, knees yeah. fully bent you got it and yeah. she's doing this <laughs> Yo, honestly, I bet you can't do five. You look like a turtle had a stroke. That's what you look like right now, dude. That was terrifying. What you just did right there I'm was just absolutely saying, terrifying. Bro. But I appreciate the commitment. I appreciate the commitment. I'm telling you, on your on your tip, you gotta go lower. You gotta go lower. Look how low she is, show. That's what I'm saying. Now you you gotta have a new respect for that, bro. No, I have a respect if she had a tampon in. Because oh that right, thing would come out like a fucking okay. scud missile, okay? If bill. she if, if she had a tip on let's it, that would put a hole in the floor. The way that she's twerking <laughs> like there, there is not anything keeping that thing lodged in. I can do it. You can't do that you with a tampon in. You can't do that. There's the no in. way. A tampon in? You can't do that. Your car not strong enough. Let's see. You can't the, floor do that. the floor is Taylor, yours. The floor the is yours. The floor is yours. <laughs> let's see. Yeah, let's see. Look how low she is. She's yeah. on her tippy toes. Nah, 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 nah. You can't do you that. You can't one. do that. Yeah, Look how low she is. That. On nah. her tippy toes. On her tippy toes. Shake it. And, I, and by the way, I ain't even bounce my ass. I yeah. was just doing my knees. She bouncing her ass She's and doing her, her knees. Ass also. Let's see. <laughs> Tail about the rips and sweat. Yo, come on. She don't got. She don't got four in her. I don't know if you got this. This is. Let me too see much. how low you get. Hold on. Wait. It, go to that that part right there because I think that's probably better. Okay. No, go, go. T- turn that way. Turn that way. Yeah, the other way. No, the other way. The other way. I yeah. see you towards the camera. <laughs> okay. I right, go. Yeah. Like this. yeah, yeah. And then you just do that. No, do you got to do your, do to your legs in and out like she doing? Oh, all right. That's actually good. I know how to do it. Like, come on, I'm a dick. Yo, son. yo, son. yo, that was crazy. Yo, did you guys hear what she said? She wasn't on mic. What'd you say? You scissor chicks? Wait, what'd you say? That's insulting. I ride dick. Whoa, Jesus. <laughs> Took the air out of the room right I there. Know. Taylor, I started to scream out, me too, but I was like, no. <laughs> People would take that the wrong way, edit it, you know what I mean? <laughs> Should have been on the internet for years. I ride dick. Me too. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. All right, let's pay some bills. Bro. Um, this is a good segue. Let's talk Blue Chew. Yeah. Okay, this episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. All right, let's talk about something we could all use more of right now. Sex. Great sex, okay? If relevant and comfortable. Oh. Well, have you, you used Blue Chew in your sex Man, life? come right? on, bro. I'm playing around. You know what she's getting for that engagement. <laughs> I'll be chewed up and chewed out, bro. Let's be honest. Proposal dick is different. Proposal dick is different. Com, you know why? Because once that. you propose, she says yes. When you put it on her that night, mm. she has to say in her mind, I'm living with this dick for the rest, for the of, rest of my life. Of my so life. you got to give her that. Yeah. Call, give her that blue chewy. Oh, give no, it to I'm her. chewing down. I might double up. Ooh. I might double up. Ooh. 
Ooh. I might go super duper hard. Ooh. Same active ingredients as Viagra Cialis. You know that shit is going to be rock. I, the blue chew makes me be able to control it better, to be honest. Control the nut. Really? For me, 100%. It feels amazing, but I can control it. I go out there. I knock it out. She wakes up. You know what I mean? So hold on. Yeah. Blue chew doesn't keep you from nothing? For me, I have more control on blue chew while it feels okay. amazing. Okay. It's unbelievable. But uh, so it's bluechew.com. Uh, make sure you use the promo code idiots and you get it for free. You just got to pay $5 shipping. But dude, I'm telling you, she won't get chewed out tonight. Listen, man, yeah. um, blue chew is made in the USA. It's prescribed online by licensed physicians. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go to the doctor or wait in line. It's even cheaper than the pharmacy and they prepare and ship it right to you in a discreet package so your girl won't even know what hit her. Okay? And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Visit bluechew.com and get your first shipment free. When you see our special promo code idiots just pay five dollars shipping again that's blue chew b-l-u-e chew.com promo code idiots to try it free please be sure to use our promo code idiots at blue chew.com today's episode is also brought to you by quip guys when was the last time you got rewarded for brushing your teeth all right with quip's new smart electric toothbrush good habits can earn you great perks like free products gift cards and more the quip smart brush for adults and kids by the way connects to the quip app with bluetooth track when and how well you brush get tips okay coaching to improve your habits a lot of you don't know how to brush your teeth and you realize that now that we're in quarantine you're wearing those masks you smell how stank your breath is so you need to learn that shit from quip all right you have to earn points for daily brushing bonus points for completing for uh, new challenges redeem rewards okay from quip and other partners now if you already have quip upgrade it with a smart motor and keep the features you know and love okay they got the sensitive sonic vibrations two minute timer 30 second pulses and a guided clean slim lightweight sleek with no wires no bulky charger to weigh you down multi-use travel cover that doubles as a mirror mount for less club uh for less clutter Look, beyond the brush, Quip has everything that you need to build a complete routine. Mint and watermelon toothpaste with anti-cavity ingredients for strong, healthy <clears throat> teeth. Floss. They got the refresh bag for your good oral habit care everywhere you go. Plus, you get the brush head, toothpaste, floss refills delivered from $5 and shipping is free. How smart is that? Join over 5 million people who are already use Quip, okay? To start right now, all you got to do is is you go to getquip.com, that's Q-U-I-P, getquip.com slash idiots right now to get your first refill free, okay? That's your first refill free. Go to getquip.com slash idiots, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash idiots. Quip, better oral health, made simple and rewarding. Hey, I want to tell you about Cushy Dreams, okay? Cushy Dreams offers a full lineup of premium smokable CBD. They specialize in extraordinary CBD rich hemp flower, aka bud, and pre roll CBD joints, okay? Looks like high quality marijuana, feels like high quality marijuana, and tastes like high quality marijuana. Cushy is 100% hand trimmed, never machine trimmed. Each batch is slow cured for two to four weeks to guarantee maximum freshness and preserve flavor and cannabinoids. Best of all, it's grown in the U.S. Okay, uh, listen, you know, I love CBD. I put it on my forehead. I love the cream. I love to smoke it. The reason I really love to smoke it because it just makes me feel grown. Like when you're sitting there with like a, a nice little glass of cognac and you, you know what I'm saying? Just blowing on something that relaxes your mind and lets your conscience free. Okay, mm. and you can enjoy all the health benefits of CBD without getting high. Uh, it's cannabis that ships directly to you and it's legal in all 50 states. Join the men and women who are sick of vapes and gummies and want to smoke their CBD. Go to CushyDreams.com to get some high quality CBD bud. At checkout, use promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. That's Cushy, K-U-S-H-Y, Dreams.com, promo code IDIOTS for 20% off your next order. Cushy Dreams, smoke your CBD. This episode has also been brought to you by a company that's going to solve... The problem of getting your golfing friend, father, husband, son, a gift that he actually will enjoy. Okay, another golf-themed novelty item is not going to cut at this upcoming holiday. Get the golfer in your life something that will make a difference that they can see in their game, feel on their feet. Giving socks as a gift is no joke. Okay, features, that's F-E-E-T, U-R-E-S, has engineered a sock specifically tailored for the Lynx, baby. They're elite golf socks. Keep feet cool, dry, and blister-free while providing a custom-like fit that won't bunch or slip during your backswing. Features is a proud, family-owned business. Hugh Gaither founded the company in 2002, and now he and his sons, John and Joe, own and operate the company in North Carolina. Their mission? 
to create products that help you achieve your personal best. Okay, features helps you achieve your best every single day now on and off the golf course too. each pair of features are made with an anatomical design that conforms to the left and right foot for the molded fit that prevents blisters. Those blisters are bad. I know golf looks easy. I'm telling you, it tears apart your hands, tears apart your feet. And if your friend that you're getting this gift for, even if it's for yourself, you know what the hell we're talking about. Get some socks that will help improve your game by allowing you to get back out there so you're not stumbling all over the uh, the course. Uh, look, there's a lifetime guarantee. Features are so durable and long-lasting that if you're unsatisfied at any point, they'll give you a replacement pair, no questions asked. Will you look at that, all right? Feature socks will change how you feel about socks forever. And you can get $10 off your first pair of features when you use the code idiots at features.com. That's F-E-E-T-U-R-E-S.com. Promo code idiots for $10 off your first pair of features. Let's get back to the show. Yeah, I got some church announcements. Nothing nothing crazy. Just, uh, you know, see what's on my shirt. Black Effect Podcast Network. Yeah. Uh, we launched um, Ebony K. Williams this week. Ebony K. Williams with Holding Court. Okay. Um, I didn't even know Ebony was going to have a, a, a co-host. Dustin, yeah, you know, you know, we know Dustin. I love Dustin, yeah, man. That's I, a good one. I produced that. One. You produced it. Uh, the first episode is called um, Brianna Taylor, Make It Make Sense. And you know, I love Ebony K. Williams. I think Ebony just has a knack for breaking down, you know, legal cases in such a digestible way. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Probably because she's younger and she's, you know, of the culture, and maybe also maybe because she's from North Carolina too. So I just. I get I get it when she talks, you mm-hmm. know what I mean. So I think um, you know, anybody who has any questions about any legal cases, that's gonna be the podcast for you. Mm. Just just because of the way she is able to break things down in a very objective, non emotional, non biased way. It's just yeah. like these are the facts of the case. That's great. If you want to know why somebody got off, that's great. this is why they got off. That's you know great. what I mean. I think that's super valuable right now. Oh, yeah. Not only just with police brutality, but just with anything legal. Like, you have all these cases pop in, and we get these emotional reactions to to the decisions when we don't really understand what's going on. We have emotional Absolutely. reactions to not even the decisions, like what they're charging a person for. Yes. Yeah, Ebony's, Ebony's, Ebony's dope. Um, salute to Tesla and Figaro. Straight Shot, No Chaser podcast. That's available on the Black Effect uh, iHeartRadio podcast network. Top 200 in society and culture, Tesla is. Um, my man Steve Smith cut to it. He's top 200 in sports. Uh, All the Smoke is top 10 in sports. Um, who else is out there, Taylor? Yeah. Oh, salute to the Gangster Chronicles, man. Gangster Chronicles number two. In the music category, hey. you know what I mean? Yeah. You produced that one too? Okay, salute to the Gangsta Chronicles. Taylor. Salute to my guy Steel. Salute to uh, Mob James. Salute to MC8. Um, they, they first episode had Too Short on it. I forgot who they got on there this week, but Too Short is on the first episode. So yes, go subscribe to all those podcasts, Black Effect, iHeartRadio. Um, yeah, let's get back to it. Um, damn, I wanted to talk about something you just said too. What was it? It was something you just mentioned that made me think about something, yo. I hate that. What was that. we talking about? We was talking about the legal shit. Oh, the the cop in the Breonna Taylor case. He did an interview. Oh. I, I forgot who he did it with. One of the cops. Okay. And he said, you know, it, 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 it frustrates him when he sees, like, all the protests and things like that because um, it wasn't racial. You know what I mean? The shooting wasn't racial. Uh, I, I, I agree with that. I don't think that, you know, they went in there with the intention of killing any black people. But I think what made it racial is everything that happened after the fact. You know what I'm saying? If it had happened to a white person, you feel like there'd be a much different outcome. Absolutely. Interesting. Absolutely. I think and is that on the cops or is that on the justice system? I, I think I think both because they're part of it because you know they they Ooh, they thought they could get away. They with thought it. they could get away with it. Mm-hmm. They 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 tried to cover it up. They didn't call the ambulance. They, they and when the ambulance came, they told the ambulance to leave. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like. Yeah, I think that everything that happened after they realized, oh, that's a little black girl, or a, a, a young black girl, f- cool. I think everything after that was racist. The injustice that happened, the fact that Daniel Cameron didn't even present it as a as a murder. You know what I mean? He didn't even present it as like the body was the, the shooting wasn't even in the. I think that's a good slice. In the uh, what's the shit called? What? The transcript or whatever. I don't fucking know. In the uh, whatever they're accusing I can't remember. the Bio accusation. Thing. Yes. Yeah. So I think charges. Yes. So I think everything after her race played a role in it. I don't think the actual shooting did. And then, yeah, yeah. And I think 
it almost seems like a lot of this case, what people are upset of, obviously, outside of an innocent life being taken, but like the way it's been fucked up is what happened after the innocent life was taken. Yes. Ebony breaks it down really well, too, on the podcast about like why there's basically no justice for Rian. In a legal way? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I mean, listen, I haven't got a chance to listen to it. I'm listening, listening to that today. It's a lot of podcasts. That's a great idea, here. though. If you knew that there was a place that you could go, once a week and just to understand the legal side of whatever big story was going on that's a valuable asset holding court with ebony k williams and dustin yeah, what does dustin great. do he's just like the co-host so he's just you know is he does to... he understand law and stuff like that no i think he's asking questions for her like so oh she... got you got you i so like he's that i like that person he's us yeah. he's like what am i curious about about this case because ebony might understand certain things about the case and take that for granted yeah, yeah, yeah. right whereas you and i might go yo just explain what the hell yeah. What a, a, a what is it a an indictment means? Yeah. Is, you know what are these? That's dope. And they yeah. add their opinion on like with the Cardi B and divorce thing and like she she breaks all that down. That's yeah. good though because then they, people can email their questions. What do you think about Dustin. Cardi? Yo? I love Cardi. What no, do you mean? No, 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 like, like taking back Offset. Like it's a relationship. Yeah, but like I don't know. I don't give a fuck really. But it's just funny to me. Like the week before, she's like, I'm in control. I will do whatever I want. She this is. Thing. And now she's in full together. control. She's yeah. doing what she wants to do. That's full control. Yeah. Full no, control. It's still also petty because then they said it may seem like she did it just to get back at also like she may, he maybe she did. It. Sometimes you got to put yeah, the fear of God in like, your man. You see, like, young bucks, your young bucks, uh, baby mama shot at him. Yeah, but she it's did also shot at him. Yeah. Nobody cares. <laughs> ain't no, ain't no, nobody, ain't nobody cares. Wait a minute, she shot, shot at, him. at him. Yeah. It's on Shade Room and everything. Nobody gives a fuck. The double standard is disgusting. Shot at him. Said he shot at Young Buck and said, dance, bitch, dance. No, and nobody didn't. gave a fuck. That's not what happened. Pull up the story, Alex. I know I can read. Hold All on. right. Hold the hell on. Nobody gives Young a shit. Young Buck's wife shot. Well, uh, you know what's I don't know if his up? wife, baby, mama, girlfriend, somebody. You know what's fucked up, bro? This is fucked up. What? All I'm thinking right now is what did he do? <laughs> I'm a victim blamer, bro. I'm a victim blamer, dog. I'm like, what could this man? You just want to hear the whole story. Yeah. yeah. You know why though? I'm gonna tell you why. It's not that you're a victim blamer. It's that you have faith in people, right? Okay. So being that you have faith in people, he must you, have done something crazy yes, to make her act yeah, exactly. That way. You can't just automatically think, nah. He didn't just. I'm she not didn't assuming just a gun. she's crazy. There you go. I'm assuming she had a reason. What the hell did <laughs> Young Buck do that? Yeah. She had to shoot at this guy. Yeah, the way she biting that bottom lip, though, boy. She, she might be a little guilty the way she yeah, biting the bottom lip. I'm not lip. saying she guilty. I'm just saying when you biting that bottom lip like that in a mugshot, you just still wishing a motherfucker would. Ooh. You just shot at a person. Now you wishing this motherfucker that's taking your mm. picture. Lucretia Neal. Salute to Go Lucretia Neal. What does it say? Actually, hold on, because it says, in a developing story, former G-Unit member Young Buck's girlfriend was arrested for firing a weapon at the rapper. Lucrezia? Lucrezia? Lucretia? she got crazy. That's Lucretia. Name, bro. No, that's Lucretia. Lucretia. Lucretia Neal was arrested and charged with reckless endangerment with a deadly weapon. It is unclear whether or not Young Buck was injured in the shooting, and investigators are still searching for Buck. Think about that. Young Buck got one, two, three fucking sentences after getting shot at. <laughs> ain't no think pieces. Wow. It ain't no Twitter outrage. No wow. nothing. He didn't even get the a double standard is so real. Yeah, I want to go on her IG live though. What is her IG live like about? Who was talking about that? Mandy was talking about that about how like she's like girls need to hold their other girls accountable for hating on men and everything else. Like that. I don't have nothing to do with that. That's a woman conversation. I will. What's up? <laughs> 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 Let's have it. <laughs> Come on, I gotta get this out before I'm married, bro. <laughs> <laughs> After tonight and be all soft like Charlotte. Man, I can't I'm not wait. Not touching that one. Now. That's good. I can't wait. Yes, get married, soften shorts the fuck up. I can't wait. This is gonna be beautiful. There's something I wanted to fucking talk about right before you said that shit, yo. Or did I get it out already? Maybe it was the legal You're stuff. You're talking about the legal stuff. Oh, okay, I got it out. There. <laughs> but that right there is a double fucking standard. That's yeah, disgusting. It's messed up, bro. Come on, man. Imagine if Young Buck had shot at his girl like that. Oh no, that oh, would be hard. It would be uh, come on, man. 
You'd see, you'd see so many think pieces, so mm-hmm. many people saying black men don't protect black women. Like mm-hmm. that right there is just toxic. That's too, that's, I'm not even gonna say too toxic people because I don't know what the fuck is going on. But that's, if that is true, what they're accusing this woman of, that is just fucking toxic. I need yo. to talk to this woman. I need to know what is worth shooting at someone for. G- listen. But what is worth shooting like for, at? He might have cheated. For, exactly. But is cheating a <laughs> shooting offense? You gotta know who you cheating on. Exactly. Yeah. You gotta know who you cheating on. You might be cheating yeah. on the wrong mother. Fucker. Ah. You cheat on the wrong I person. I my dude for well, cheating on me. Oh my god! Come on. This That's current right. guy? No, 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 no. You it's had like a, a pass, and he you, cheated on you. How do you, you almost kill somebody? Okay. Um. I first pepper sprayed him, and then we were tussling. Somehow he got a scratch right here. I don't know where. Somehow. Could I even pick up? The, wow, you one of those? You black out and hurt people and don't even remember I how you hurt I them? Never knew I you took a I knife never knew to his mad. throat? I never you knew cut I could his that fucking mad. neck with a knife? No, I did not. <laughs> I did not. You just no. said that. You no. said that somehow yes, you got a cut on his You know. said you pulled out a knife no, I and didn't. somehow he got scratches <laughs> on his throat. I'm terrified, yo. I did not say that. I thought terrified. that was just some gangster shit. I was like, damn, Taylor really a gangster. Yo, Taylor. Yeah, I pulled out a gun and somebody got shot. I don't know how they got shot. Yeah, that was what you said, basically. This is crazy, yo. I never knew I could get that mad though. <laughs> I was living with him and everything. It was just a disrespect. How the girl situation. looked at him cheating on? Yeah. Of course she was fat. She was fat. Yes. Yeah, but that's he, what made did you he bust mad. that down though? That's what made you mad. <laughs> <laughs> you, <laughs> bro. Did you did did you ask him if he ate her out? <laughs> Don't you try nothing, Taylor. Don't you try nothing. Did he eat her out? I don't know. But he but he How big that was she? Back. Philly fat. Philly fat is fat too, bro. Yeah, that's a big girl. That's <laughs> a big girl. I she'll have a hard time in that chair. Well, she Why? had a hard because time getting out. Bent that over. And just... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, how did you? Did you walk in on them no, doing it? No, I had a intuition. I looked in his messages and I saw. Per se, I missed a day. Intuition. Like, she looked in his bag. Where do you get all these snacks? Why do you have all these fucking snacks in your bag? <laughs> Why you got all these snacks? That would be snacks? a good hint, too, because he was mad healthy. So where'd all these snacks come from? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> all these tasty cakes. Interesting. Where the fuck do you get all these? Since thing- when you still are eating all these tasty cakes? <laughs> So what happens? So you start, you pepper sprayed him. And then I was you start- mad. And then this thing, when I get mad, I'm calm. Like, so I was just looking. He was asleep. I was looking at him like the whole time. I looked at him for me like five, ten minutes. Just think, like trying to calm down and then just burst out. So I just like end up hitting him, whatever. I'm like, who the fuck is this? And he just looked shocked like, I don't, I don't know. Blah, blah. What fast just, food restaurant did he have her name on? Was it Golden Corral? No. <laughs> what, yeah, he he a real number? I don't know what the fuck her name was, but Damn. I punched the shit out of him. Maybe like, she was, missed the dick from way before. No. Are you positive and then you know the how timing? You know, and then he tried to pull like, oh, she just gave me head. Nigga, don't fucking lie to me. Now, in like, his defense. Maybe she no, does miss if the if she, if she was Because a, he ended up omitting the whole thing dick. afterwards. If she was a chunk chunk. She likes lot, eating it. That's a lot of guys. Say it's a Snickers. A lot of guys only like to get head from chunk chunks. He fucks it too. How sure. do you know yes, that? he said it. Maybe He's he, positive. Maybe yes. it was her mouth that he fucked. <laughs> that's a possibility. That's why you hate fat people. I don't hate fat yes. people. I always wondered why you had such about? a phobia no, against fat true, people. Because anytime Charlotte about? jokes around, you have like a PTSD Ooh, moment. She gets mad as You do fuck. get mad. That's you, you know why? Because you don't want to turn out to be what you hate. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, oh, I my God. this conversation. And granted, yeah, granted, like, I'm not even mad at that shit no more. Taylor told me some wild shit earlier today. Taylor said, "I'm sorry. Was it wilder than trying to murder a human?" It was kind of crazy. She said that she got her period. She said the first time she got her period, she thought she was sick from eating um. No, I Max's. did not. You, you are Max's. such a what is liar. Max's? Philly cheese steak place. Yeah, get out yeah. She did. She He's told such me. a liar. Yo. She, she said. She said. It's she coming out of all holes. <laughs> yo, yo, wait, so wait. <laughs> she, said, she, said, she said the first time she got her period, yeah. she went to Max's in Philly and everybody told her, don't go to Max's, don't go to Max's. So she, she ate went, the cheese steak oh, no, and she dude. said she got so sick, she yeah. didn't know it was her period. Damn, yo. That's <laughs> crazy. You, this up in your you did tell me that no, earlier. I did not. What That's did you say? Crazy. You said something about I your. I said nothing about no cheese steak. You said the first yeah. time like, you got your period, you thought you was dying. Exactly. That's it. You said That's you were food That's poisoning. The the, no, at the end of the period. That's it. I don't remember that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Period. 
<laughs> okay. Are we just going to skirt over her <laughs> trying to murder somebody? Is that everybody's right. I tell, but look, I tell. We clearly all, don't care. I he skirted over all. Young Buck's <laughs> girlfriend trying to murder him. Now he's skirting over Taylor trying to kill a man. I tell all my guys, too. I told him from the jump. You could don't, die. I'm not the one. <laughs> <laughs> I tell him exactly that. I'm no, not I the one. No, I told you, you could die. So you could die. know what it exactly. is. Exactly. I'm not. I tell him all the time. I'm not the one. I'm really not. Don't try to play with me. You got to know you. You got to know you're cheating serious. on you. I'm serious. My mom never even seen that rage out of me ever. And, and that's the but scary part you don't know how crazy your girl is stop? until you cheat but how did it stop that's that's the thing that I'm, I'm concerned I left with. I'm not the one to go back like no I no left. how did it stop the fight how who stopped the fight after you pepper sprayed him and, and cut him with a the knife, fucking knife to his throat. what made you stop what got you out of the rage he died <laughs> he died <laughs> no um he like was trying to hold me whatever until I like just Stop wilding out. And then you stop wilding oh, out. Oh, he put them hands on you. <clears throat> he just like hell. He didn't like hit me or nothing. No. Nah, but he was. He and he, was, first of all, Charlamagne, you really think he'll be living right now if he hit me? No, nah, that's a good point. He, he, like, point. Like, if he, he may not have hit you, but he yeah. shook the shit out you. He didn't shake me. He, he stopped her from shaking. He shook the shit out you. He didn't. He wasn't shaking. He just trying to make me stop. I was like really. So he just the held you. He's trying to like hold me. I'm trying to like get off, like him trying to get off me. And Do you think he was good at holding you because he's been holding he that fat talk- bitch for a long ass time? <laughs> 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 he's like, oh, this weight is nothing. I can handle this weight easy. <laughs> what are you, 100 pounds? 100 pounds. I've been he, throwing 250 up these last like- few weeks <laughs> with this big old heifer. <laughs> technically, technically, she was a heifer. She was a heifer. Now, now your, your, your Philadelphia queen, our Philadelphia queen, Patty LaBelle, loves to use that word. Heifer. You got to use it in context. You heifer. know what a heifer is, right? You know what a heifer really is? It's a cow. A young cow. Yeah, but you can't say the ER, dude. Heifer? <laughs> heifer. 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 <laughs> Domestic violence is not funny though. It's That's right. Male or female. Dudes, man. Don't cheat on me and then we'll have That's not domestic Why? violence. Ass, Imagine yo. a man saying some shit like I'm that. Dead That's ass. true. Imagine that shit. Yeah, I beat her up. But don't cheat on me and you won't get beat up. God damn, can you imagine? That's scary. Because it's that simple. Why are you doing some shit? Like, is that simple? Why are you cheating? Because you a WAP. What? What? Really? <laughs> <laughs> Why, no, why, honestly, why you know, the women why, are going to blame the men? No, it was definitely I, the, emotional, though. What? Because it was emotional. I didn't, I'll be honest. I was not. I was not that right for a girl for him anymore. <laughs> but it wasn't emotional, though. It was emotional because he only likes her because he got she bigged him up. You know, oh, the, you don't think that like he I liked called her? him? I wow. told him that he's that's unambitious. For other reasons. So that that's so the that same dude, upset. the one you called unambitious. And then he was out Shout there. Shout out to him, yo. You deserve that heifer, yo. I respect you. Look, I talk, but look, I taught him a lesson. I bet he's not going to cheat no girl again. Yeah, he is. I he bet you that big girl. On a crazy I, be, one. I bet you him and that big girl still together. And I bet <laughs> well, you she done lost weight. Good for him. And mm-hmm. I bet, you she, I I bet you she in shape and she bigging him up still. Good for him. Wow. I'm in a happy relationship. No, I'm you're not, not mad. No, you're not. You no, need to not. pick up yeah, your man, yo. Such a you need to pick up. Ladies, don't listen to this shit. Word you need up. to big up your man. I you need do. fragile egos. That's right. You That's do. literally all you got to do for a happy right. relationship is make your man feel amazing. That's right. I, I mean that 100%. I'm dead but serious. I he just, me and him didn't match anyway. We probably wouldn't have been together even if he didn't cheat. Okay. <laughs> but the best thing we got out of your story is that you have to big your man you up. You got to big your man. Come on, man. Listen, ladies, we're not telling you what to do. You don't have to. But if you want to have the easiest relationship in your entire life, you just big your man up. Not Make even, him feel special. I, I promise you it works. It's literally that simple. And not even just the easiest. If you just want to have a healthy relationship, make me feel special. Because I'm, I'm always trying to make you feel special. That's Tell it. Tell me I'm the motherfucking man sometime. That, if that's, I, if, if that I really that am. Hard? Even if I'm not. <laughs> got all your faking orgasms on fake love. Word. Like the fuck? <laughs> You know what I'm Keep the I'm fake going. orgasm and give me the fake validation. That's it. You know what I'm saying? Come on, I'll figure bro. the orgasm part out. Trust me. Wait, what? You figure it out. Oh, your yeah. Your toys, your tongue. You know what I'm saying? You'll figure that part out. Yeah. But I thought you said, I'll finger it out. And I was like, oh, yeah, that works. What? It could. That's what I'm saying. You put I a little rabbit was... on your finger. And... You put a rabbit on your finger, did you? Yeah, you know the little rabbit toy? Oh, the uh, vibrator. Boom. That's a, hey, bro. That shit does all the work for you, dude. Let's go. To, let's do some shit you won't care about next week. Um, what we power, got? The Power Rangers are getting a reboot. 
The Power Rangers? Mm -hmm. Who gives a fuck? I never was into the Power Rangers. Oh, actually, really? can, can I bring up a question? That yes. You have it here. This is not some shit that you won't care about next week. I think we'll still be caring about so this. So this is a deep dive? This may be a deep dive. Let's go. I, I am curious. I don't really know the full extent of what's happening with SARS in Nigeria. Me neither. This is not the disease. That's what I thought when I first Initially, thought. I thought it was that. I'm not. I'm, immediately, I thought it was the disease. But apparently, the SARS is a like a police force. Police unit. It's a police unit, and I guess that they've been allegedly, and again, I don't know the whole story, so we're just asking questions over here, but uh, they've been like abusing people, maybe possibly killing people. They've been acting like police. They've been acting like, oh, They're shit. People, <laughs> police brutality. <laughs> In Nigeria, I mean, that's, I mean, that, from what I've gotten from the story, yes. I actually hit my girl uh, Cuppy. Salute to Cuppy. I actually hit her. How's and, Cuppy? What's, what's she good? I mean, Cuppy was out there protesting, but I wanted her to download me on it because I want to talk to somebody that's actually on the ground out there. You know what I'm saying? What you say? I got mad love for Nigeria. A special anti robbery squad. Yes, but I heard that they started abusing their power. Yeah, they yeah. are. Okay, so I haven't spoken to Cuppy yet. She hit me back and she just like, yo, it's crazy, but I haven't actually spoken to her. But. From what I've gathered from it, it's literally the same thing that's going on here in America wow. as far as police abusing their power. They were protesting. Take them to ATMs and like rob them blind and then like beat and torture them. Like well, yeah, that means that's still abuse of power. But they're protesting a, it and now. Isn't that fucked up? Getting fucked up. Isn't that fucked up? Three of us people of color and then this white lady knows what's going on. Three of us? Wait, what? <laughs> first, first of all, you didn't even hear what Paige said. You didn't hear what Paige said. Paige said that. They, they're, they're a unit and they move in on people and uh, one, of, one, one of the officers killed their best friend and then they cut open a hole in the floor and one of the guys that was part of the SARS unit didn't want to take any of the money so then one of the other cops plotted to get that member of SARS killed but when he took him to the uh, people's house and they went to go kill him the guy that was going to kill him found his niece's wallet in one of the SARS people's pockets. Oh my God. And so when he, when he was about to shoot him, he was shower. about to shoot him. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, yes. So yeah, that, that's what yeah, that's what yeah. Paige was describing yeah, just yeah. now about. And he the, was the little, he was he was high. He was on acid or something like that. Right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He yeah, thought yeah. it was regular cigarette. He thought it was regular he, cigarette. But one of the other members of SARS passed it to him and made him made him get high. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's what that's what Paige just described. <laughs> and you just big you just bigged her up. My damn. Like, yo. You just you just bigged her up like you know. I'm just saying. That's. You watch one movie, Paige. <laughs> you watch you you watch one movie. But Just it is Denzel Washington's black but don't mean he's Nigerian and don't mean it takes place in Nigeria, Paige. It is essentially abuse of power by the police officers. They're yeah. killing the people that's protesting them. Just like I mean, they wow. weren't killing us, but like they're like literally killing the people that's protesting because they set like a curfew and then they went yep. over it and now it's just hell. Jeez. So yeah, I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you, in SARS. From what I'm hearing, yeah, it's not a strong enough hashtag, bro. Like they need something a little more, like like in SARS, because I don't know what in SARS means. When I saw in SARS, yeah, I literally I thought, thought it was, it was disease, like man. a disease. Like yo, it's got to yeah. be something a little stronger that speaks what to would you say? the gravity. I don't know, cause I don't know enough about it, but it just sounds like like in SARS, like don't sound like. It, it, it doesn't speak it's to confusing. the gravity of the moment. The average person associates SARS with the virus. The disease. Yeah. That's literally what I thought. Like, literally when yeah. I first saw it, that's why I didn't really pay much attention until I started seeing, like, the videos and seeing, like, people that I know in Nigeria actually talking about it. And I'm like, yeah. what the fuck is going on in Nigeria? Yeah. But it sounds literally like it's the same type of abuse that's happening uh, with the police. So here. by next week, we're going to be ready to talk about this. And uh, I'm sure it's not going to stop within the next week. Nah, but, yeah, no. We got to no. talk to our Nigerian folks. And uh, How do you end it, though? That's my other thing, though. That's what I really want to know. Like, what is the end? Cause How do the, you end it? Because that's the thing. You could end SARS, but they're just going to put that power in the hands of another police unit. And then they're going to re replicate the same thing. So this is... It's probably a similar situation that's going on over here. You really need to reform these uh, these systems. You know? I'm sick of it, bro. I'm so sick of like, I'm sick of people just abusing their power just because they have power. Like to me, that's the most cowardly sucker shit yeah. anybody can do. Like when you have power, yeah. what you should be doing with that power is helping people. Yeah, that's real power. Yeah, like like real power doesn't come from you just being a bully, from you being intimidating, from you you know killing people to get what you want. Real power comes from like you have it, and now you use what you have to help Others, yeah. everybody else. I to agree. me, that's power. And by the way, yo, can you imagine? Think about this. Think about all the dictators in the world who've mm -hmm. done things like, you know, change it to where I'm going to be the, the 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 leader of this country forever. 
if you just treat people great, they might fuck with you. They might. Can, can I be y'all president forever? <laughs> Seriously, if if I just treat you great and treat the people great, and I and I hold people accountable when they abuse their power against y'all, and I make sure everybody's eating and the economy's good. Hey man, can I just be y'all president forever? And you think they'd allow it, huh? Why wouldn't they? <clears throat> you know, maybe the tricky thing is like in order for some people to live a life of luxury, other people need to live a life of poverty. I don't believe that. It's kind of the way it works in a capitalist society. Man. I don't believe. I don't. I think. I think it's it works some, like that in a capitalist society, but I don't think it has to be that way. And we don't have to have a strictly capitalist society, but there's always going to be someone that needs to work for someone else, right? I mean, that's just the mm -hmm. nature of things. Like, if you know, that's you, fine. You have employees and you pay yeah. them well. Like, you take care of them. Or maybe I don't know. We'll talk later, Paige. Point is, it's um, uh, there are oftentimes people at the top that don't want to sacrifice. You know, ourselves included. Like we were having this conversation earlier. Like. We don't want to pay 60% of tax. Maybe that would make, I don't know if that would make the world I, you, better, you, you but know, maybe, maybe if we felt that if we paid that much in tax, that poor people would actually get that money and it would help them, then we'd be more willing. That's it. It's, it's really just maybe that simple. It, yeah. If I knew where my tax dollars were going, yeah. if I knew they were going to the communities that I needed it to go to, yeah. I would be fine. Like if somebody sent me a picture and they were like, hey, your money bought these books for this school that's in a poor and disenfranchised neighborhood and paid for this salary of this gym teacher and all these different things and you got to go oh man i'm really helping make a difference that'd be dope man yeah let's go pull, on pull the camera back a little bit more. go on go on let me see the school <laughs> okay i don't want you to have nice books and oh. nice salary if the school is fucked up let me see the school but what about the other side of that coin what if you got the report card for where your taxes went and it's like, yo, you, your taxes paid for this missile that blew up this, you know, Yemenite wedding and that, that killed these four But that's where it goes, though. Exactly. And now you're like, oh, shit, I don't want to be responsible for that at all. So maybe it's better that we have no disclosure, right? Maybe that uh, ignorance is bliss policy works when it comes to paying our taxes. No, it actually pisses me off because I know my tax dollars are going to fund the military. You know what I'm saying? Like, I know my tax dollars are not going to the communities it needs to go to. You know what I mean? That's why I guess people want to live in these 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 luxurious neighborhoods because mm. that's why your tax dollars are going. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Those communities are great. Their schools are great. Like it's just no. I, I don't. I don't. I just. I hate it. I there really could do. be a better system, man. I they, don't know. They, who's they, there definitely could be a better system. There could be a better system. Because I don't think that the wage gap has to be that way. I, and by the way, if you are. You know, the head of some company and you're making money, the more money people got, the more money you'll always have. I mean, that's the idea. Who gives a f like the more money you got, the more you will always have. And you can afford to give people the best of things. There's right? a, yeah, what's the uh, Ford, the guy, Henry Ford, who made, you know, the Model T. Mm -hmm. I think he made it affordable enough so his employees, the ones that made it, could buy it. And that was like revolutionary. Why wouldn't you just give them one for free? Well, shit, maybe that'd be a nice thing to do. If you make it. <laughs> shit, get a little discount. If you're at McDonald's, you can make you a Big Mac. You take it home. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> if, you can if you can assemble a Big Mac, if you can assemble one of them goddamn cars, you and your crew take it home. Maybe cars back in the day were like a only luxury item or something like that, where like you have to be the richest of the rich to get it. But I think that's a really brilliant way to go. It's like, yo, if I can make something that the working class can buy and there's way more working class than there are rich people, shit, I'll make way more money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. figuring that out, maybe we got to apply the same thing. Yeah. What else, Taylor? Well, you say you don't watch... Um... Hold on. What? You say you don't watch... Oh, by the way, I want to talk about that. Beyonce on SARS. <clears throat> I saw that. That was some bullshit. I'm going to tell you why that was some bullshit. Y'all have to stop thinking just because y'all don't see it on social media, it's not happen happening. And by the way, give people a motherfucking minute. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like everybody wants people just to react. Like people were upset because Beyonce hadn't spoke out about SARS. First of all, I love Beyonce too. I am a Pinkett Smith Winfrey Knowles Carter. Why Beyonce? Why is she the person that you have to hear from in regards to what's going on in Nigeria? Well, yeah. the person said because, you know, from the movie she just did or the Black is King. Everybody, know? everybody does that to Africa, to the continent. Like Beyonce's not the first person that got influenced from the continent and created some art. I'm like, saying that's what their their pushing. argument is probably the same way that like you feel about like white rappers when they come to the <clears> Breakfast <throat> Club. It's mm -hmm. like okay, you're gonna use our thing, which is the dashiki, the the dress, all these types of things, all these cultural artifacts that Beyonce has no connection to outside of like doing 23 and Me, right? I don't think her parents know the direct lineage to Africa, do they? Well, I mean, she, I mean, you probably she probably tried to find out, like we all did. Of course, of yeah, course yeah, you yeah. do. But like uh, growing up, she didn't have that connection. So they're like, okay, so you're using 
these things. And I don't know if they, those things are explicitly Nigerian. If they are, then I would see the connection. But yeah, I don't acting like so. a- Africa is a monolith is kind of unfair. Like the, there are different countries. They have different cultures, speak different languages, different religions. Like, you, you can't just go, yeah, all of Africa is the same thing. That's kind of insensitive too. But like if she was, you know, basically like taking Nigerian culture and like wearing it and profiting off it. And then there is an issue happening in Nigeria where she wasn't addressing. I can see how Nigerians would be like, oh, you it wasn't even a Nigerian that said it. What is that? It wasn't a Nigerian that called her out. Yeah, it was. Oh, really? I think so. That T.O.Y. Savage. I think is she? That her I, don't is, I don't know. Google T.O.Y. Savage. I, I don't right. know. Salute to T.O.Y. Savage. I think Savage. that's where they're coming from. That like yeah. same like when a white guy comes on the breakfast club as a rapper, you're like, what are you doing for Black Lives Matter or something yes. like that? And it's a reasonable question. It's like, yo, you're gonna profit off this music, and you're gonna profit off our culture. So what are you doing to? Pre- but my you know, point help is, us, give yeah. her a minute. <laughs> like, yeah. like give her a minute like yeah. we don't know we like somebody like Beyonce can't just jump out there and make a statement yeah. she's, she's from Nigeria, Nigeria. Yeah. oh I'm sorry T.O.I. Salute. oh I take the T.O.I. was absolutely right then she called her yeah. <laughs> T.O.I. clearly knows more about the situation than I do but my point still well, stands word, though Beyonce came out and said something so but we don't know like, if she she probably already was I know you just got to give her a minute. Like, I, yeah. listen, I know we live in this world where everybody wants to react, 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 react. Yeah. Let her come out and make an informed statement. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? After doing some research. Yeah. I don't know anything about the SARS situation. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? I want to speak to my people. I want to see what's going on. Only thing I've gotten from it is that it's, peop- it's police officers over there abusing their power. I'm always going to be against that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to always stand against that. Yeah. Always. In SARS, yes. Even though I think they need something a stronger. We're gonna work on the branding name because I just, I just, I need to know how we end it because we're saying end it. I need to know how. Yeah. And I'm all in and helping, uh, you know, the, the, the my, my people in the motherland. But all I'm simply saying is just give people a chance. Yeah. Don't just press Beyonce and be like, yo, what are you doing? But I can't be mad at Tia Savage either. And I tell you why, because Tia is probably in Nigeria. She's going through it. She's going through it. Yeah. And it's probably been going on for longer than we know. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And so yeah. now she's like, where the fuck is everybody? Also, it's like every day when another person dies, it's hard to wait. Yeah, you man. You know what I mean? Like yeah, when people yeah, are dying, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, real yeah, hard yeah, to be patient. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's sad. Listen, I'm going to tell you something, man. It's I'm tough. I'm sure you go through that as a black person where it's I like- I was about to say that, yo. Yeah. It's go. tough. It's tough. It's tough being black because I don't have yeah. enough bandwidth. It's always some shit, you know what I mean? Uh, like every other week it's something. Every other week it's a new situation. Police abusing a, a black person, killing a black person. Like think about all the people that don't trend. Yeah. You know what I mean? Think about all the things that don't trend. And I, I guess I guess the way I was going with it is that uh, I'm sure there's plenty of people, maybe I've even said to you on, a, on, a, on this podcast, which is like, yo, there's so much progress being made. We're going to get there. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, it's yeah. so easy from the outside to look in and go, yeah, we've we've grown so much in the last forty years. Look how much better it is to be black in America in the last forty years. But if you're black in America now, you're not going like, oh yeah, it'll be perfect in a hundred years when I'm dead. You want it now, and and rightfully so, you should be able to want it now. That might be the sacrifice, though. I mean, a lot of brothers and sisters from the civil rights era didn't get to live to see the America that we're that we're oh, in now. Oh, we're always sacrificing for the greater good. Absolutely. 100%. But at the same time, those brothers back then weren't satisfied. They weren't like, okay, this is enough. No, 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 not at all. 100%. 100%. Damn. So what you think about um, the Barney remake? Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there is really a Barney remake. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> he, he said the reason why is that's dude from Get Out that's doing that. Yeah. yeah, he said the reason why is because Barney taught us I live love action. You, you love me, won't you say you love me too? That's the one of the first songs I remember. And what happens when that isn't true? <laughs> oh my Come on, bro. God, Joe. Come He's, on, I'm bro. telling you, man, motherfuckers are so woke, man. They got to get some sleep, bro. They tired, Joe. Like you're not yourself and you sleepy, bro. Yeah, I love you. Much. You love me. Won't you say you love me too? But what happens when that isn't true? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Hold on, let me think. I Hold love on. you. Give me a second. You love I love me. you. Won't you love you me. Say, say you, you love, love me too. too. With a knickknack, paddy whack, give a dog a bone. But what does he mean? Yeah. What happens when that isn't true? When Barney doesn't think, love what you? If you don't. Oh, is it? If Barney no, that's when Barney does some shit. If you don't love Barney, Barney acts like Taylor. <laughs> <laughs> Barney's coming with you with the pepper spray. This this movie can't be yeah. no more than five minutes long because what happens when that isn't true? Well, I hate you, you hate me. Won't you say you hate me too? Boom, yes, end of the movie. Yeah, it's simple. The opposite of love is hate. Taking people out, bro. 
That might happen. Barney might start taking people out. Barney? <laughs> Barney's kid. My kid. They want. He wants hugs, right? Yeah. Barney. He might be like dude? the witch we'll call it. Um, What's that? Pennywise. No. Who's the Avengers? Uh, not Avengers. I'm Big sorry. Bird. No, 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 Muppets. no. Who's the clown? It. It. No. Yes, you that's guys, the clown. No. Pennywise. No. You yes, guys. it is. It. That. It's it. <laughs> that's what it is. It's the guy. It's it. McDonald's. That's... Ronald McDonald. The Burger Joker. King. Thank you. Burger the Joker. King. <laughs> Burger King. <laughs> it's like the Joker. Wasn't he <laughs> not? Stop. <laughs> Wendy's. The Joker. Fish filet. Fish filet. Long John Silver's. Go. <laughs> Go. <laughs> but wasn't he like a nice guy and then, you know? The Joker? No, he yeah, had that shit Chris Rock got. He got the he had a learning disability. That's what, <laughs> you know, he had that little non-verbal learning, verbal or whatever. What no, is that stupid I shit forgot. Chris Rock made up so we could feel bad for him being a millionaire? I'm not going to shit on this movie. Can we shit on Chris Rock pretending that he's uh, Who? autistic or whatever oh he is? Oh, my God. What do you Get mean? Get over it. I'm just tired of everybody got a, a disability. Everybody need to be disabled. Why, we, why don't you have a disability? I do. I just don't brag about it. What is it? Big dick itis. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And a special woman about to find out tonight. Today. <laughs> BDP, big dick proposal. Exactly. Big dick proposal. We want to talk about disabled. Some will be wheeling back to the crib tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Yeah, <laughs> Big dick proposal. <laughs> I'm not I'm gonna shit about. on this movie until I see it, but um, it don't sound appealing. Like this, I can't believe. Can you imagine going into a a, a, a session, a TV studio to pitch mm -hmm. this, a film? Mm -hmm. uh, I got this concept about Barney. You know, how Barney says, "I love you, you love me." Won't you say you love me too? What happens when that isn't true, bro? That's how terrified Hollywood is of black people, man. Is I, that you could pitch that movie as a black dude and they're like, oh, I, th I think he's got something. I, th I think he's on to it. I think. Like, he said, look, he said, I thought it was really heartbreaking. I have no idea why, but it feels like that makes sense. It feels like there's something unexpected that can be poignant, but optimistic. Oh, my God, Especially bro. at this time now. I I'm, think sorry that's to, really I'm sorry to interrupt, but it just hit me. Like You were like, you were saying, like, I'm not going to shit on this movie. Like, that term, shit on. But there are people who enjoy being shit on. How do they feel about that oh. term? Yeah, that's true. No, that's true. People get paid. Like, they pay women. They to pay women and guys. Guys like to get shit on, and they'll pay. Like, back in the day, that was the thing. They'd fly you to Dubai. Yeah. And that was the thing. They wanted the shit on they you. Will take They'd give you big dollars, 50000 So when Big you, dollars. Yeah. To take big shits. I'm serious. They would do that. They would do that. What? I love when 21 Savage. I love listen, I love to hear them young boys say that. I, 21 Savage and Benny the Butcher, uh, they'd be like, big, big, big money. Big stepper. Big, big, big bit lease. Big B. Just big everything. Big. Big. Big, man. Big. When you say it, you got to say it with your chest. Big. <laughs> Big podcast. Let's go. Fat Joe does that too. Fat Joe be like, big, 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 big. The big show. <laughs> it's the big podcast. What you were saying about big shit? <laughs> big shit. Big shit. <laughs> <laughs> Can you imagine that? Can you imagine getting excited? Like you a guy and you want a girl to shit on you? Yo, that's so you're like, weird. Take a big shit on me. <laughs> big shit. <laughs> big shit. You paying a girl money to shit on you. What does that do for you? Bro, I don't get it, dog. I do not get it. And where do they shit? Like on your tummy? Chest. Some chest? people like it on the chest. Why you said that so fast, Paige? Yeah. Paige? But why on your bro, chest? What? what does it do for you? You can't even see it if it's on your chest. It's like you got to look like that down. It'd be easier on your stomach and then you could see it better. Nah, who wants to see it? Oh. Well, if you're, you're into it, that's it what you want to do. I, I think that's a power I can't thing. See. I think when we talk about abuse of power, that's a power thing. I think just the fact that you can tell a person shit on me. But is it set up the day before? Like, do you pick what they eat so you know what the shit is going to be like? <laughs> no. Well, it's submissive. They're like a sub. Yeah, because imagine, imagine if I could make, imagine if I could tell you take a shit right there on the floor right now, <clears throat> and then I would just do it. That's power. Yeah, I guess that's you know power. what I mean. But even on the floor is just a little bit more understanding. Like you see how it hits the floor. There's like a whole thing. But on your chest, it just seems odd. I would need to pick the the dinner before. I'd need to pick the shit. I'd need to pick the material of the shit. Corn. You don't want nothing runny. You want corn and you want lettuce. You want things you could see. Yeah, and you want it to be solid. Yes. Like just come out one piece. Just <laughs> like a cliff bar. Like an Ishka Bibble sub. Yeah. What else, Taylor? All right. 
All right. Um, <laughs> Come on, Taylor. Come on. I need a big story. <laughs> Come on, Taylor. Let's go. Did you want to talk about, like, I guess T.I. and the urination? His friend? Uh, I mean, that, that's such an old story. Like, nobody cares. Like, yeah, I, I, they, they blew that out of proportion. If Drake really unfollowed T.I. for that, that's kind of why. I think it's corny, bro. It's corny. It's like, yo, it's not like his friend peed on you to disrespect you. You know what I'm saying? But also, I think it's corny of, of T.I. to even bring it up. No, I'm going to tell you why. In the context of the song, it made perfect sense. The song is actually a great record. It's called... Um, it's actually called We Do It Big. It's actually the name of the song. It is. It is, right? It's with John Legend on it. Um, we did it big. Yeah, we yeah. did it big with John Legend. And he's rapping about Falant, you know, rest in peace to Falant. And he's rapping about Cap, rest in peace to Cap. You know, Falant got uh, shot and killed and then Cap got killed in prison. And if you listen to the song, like T.I. is talking about Moments in their life, and you need to bring up the moment where some peace splatters on Drake. That's bro, that's the, a that's moment. Part of his life, bro. Come on now, that's a moment. Schultz. <laughs> Schultz, come on, Schultz, you're out of your fucking mind. If I peed directly on Drake, yes, yes, but he didn't. He was peeing in the no, aisle, no, no, and no, some no, no, splatter no, 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 went no, no, over no. to Drake. No, that's not what I was told. I was told some splatter hit Drake. My little brother used to do that. My little brother used to be drunk, and and he would get up in the middle of the night. I remember one night I was sleeping, and he got up, and I just heard something. And I looked up, and he's just like peeing. Yeah, yeah. Like he passed the bathroom. Yeah, sleep peeing. And yeah, yeah. And came in the room and just peeing like on the wall. Yeah, I had a buddy who would do that when he was drunk. He would, he would sleep. Exactly. Peeing. Yeah. So I think that's what happened with the dude Cap. He was drunk, stumbling around, Pulled slipped that out, dang laying out. And, and Drake peed. is kind of porcelain colored. <laughs> Do you think I just don't do you, think I just don't, you don't think, think it's possible he just thought he was a urinal? I just, he just started peeing. I just all don't over. think he was trying to be disrespectful, is what I'm saying. I just think it's kind of corny bringing it up. Like you got a lot of other shit you could talk about. You don't need to bring that one thing up in his life. I don't think that's gonna be on his tombstone. No, it, it's, it's a lot though. But I mean, if you're talking about <clears throat> different moments. In somebody's life, and you're how, not talking about all the other people he peed on. You talking about Drake? He peed on Drake. It's Drake, exactly. Big P. That's, is, big that's the difference between that's big, big P and that's just how he peed. You know what I mean? That's big P. That's, that's big, big P. Yellow. Big Sorry, yellow. Drake. Drake is the color of dirty urine. Whoa. <laughs> what if? Whoa. Listen, what if he wasn't that color before that? Huh? What if he wasn't that complexion before that? And that's what changed him. <laughs> He was he was darker or lighter, and that urine changed him. Is compl- wow, dude! Shots fired. Hashtag Tory. Stop, <laughs> what, yo. Big it's Toronto, like, big Canada. We need to build a big wall, all right, <laughs> around the whole country, around that <laughs> seat in the movie theater. That's what we need a wall. <laughs> no, what else, Taylor? Uh, Fifty Cent is about to start making horror films. Oh, perfect. Shit. Perfect. He'll find a way to do it. This Perfect. guy is just, this this guy Perfect. is fucking impressive, bro. <laughs> Perfect. I am like thoroughly impressed. Perfect. Bobby uh, Smurder denied parole. You scrolled over something. Go back. I want to talk. Let me see Kendrick. Oh, well, Kendrick. I am absolutely positively waiting on new music from Kendrick Lamar. Mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar is the leader of the new school of this whole generation. Um, I know everybody gives the crown to Drake, and I'm not. <laughs> Drake definitely has the crown. He definitely has a kingdom, just like J. Cole got a crown, J. Cole got a kingdom. But personally, Kendrick Lamar is the best to me. Really? He's the best because he's quality over quantity. Mm -hmm. You're not going to get a lot of Kendrick Lamar features. Mm. You know, he don't just be throwing out songs every now and then. You get bodies of work Mm. in the form of albums, and that's it. And he still has such a mysterious mystique about him when it comes to celebrity because he'll put out an album and you won't hear from him for three years. Mm. You won't hear from him for four years. He's not all over social media. You know what I'm saying? He makes you wonder what he's up to. He has a whole kid and no one even knows. Really? See? A whole one? Yeah. As opposed to what, Taylor? A half? A quarter? <laughs> like, as in, it could be half if she's still baking, but she's not. Oh, she gave birth to it out of her vagina. I was, yeah, I was talking about the art. Jesus. That's... But you just said. He's a private person is what you're trying to say. I'm just waiting on new Kendrick Lamar music is what I'm saying. That's essentially what I'm saying. Yes. Anything else? What else, Taylor? Um, what else we got? I meant to, um, you guys scroll past this, but you what? mentioned it, you know, Gilly going off 
on Wack 100. I just love Gilly, five. man. I love Gilly. I love Wallow. I love Million Dollars Worth of Game. Yeah, we have Wallow would guys. love to do it. I know Gilly would do it. Like, I love, I, like, they, those two right there are the epitome yeah, of right. not making no excuses. Mm -hmm. Gilly's always been able to reinvent himself. And I think people really missed the fact that Wallow was in jail for 20 years. I didn't know he was locked up for 20 years. Wallow's only been home. Wallow, Wallow hasn't been home four years yet. <laughs> Wallow has not been home four years. Wallow did 20 years for what? in prison. Uh, I think armed robbery or something like that. How do you do 20 years for just robbing somebody? Uh, be black. But he's Indian, isn't he? Wallow? Yeah. Why, Why do you say that? that? I thought he was Indian. <laughs> no, why, why you thought Wallow that? was Indian? He looks Indian. No, <laughs> Wallow ain't not Indian. Not that I know of. Bring it up. Or West Indian, bare minimum, where they got a little Indian in them. I'm not sure. Everyone has a little Indian in them. Uh, but yeah, I mean. But his videos are so funny when he's like walks up into them. <laughs> Have you ever seen that on Instagram? And it's just like that. <laughs> oh, those great. guys are great, man. But you know, like once again, you can't teach. What those two yeah, brothers that's just have. Chemistry. It's that's just, just natural chemistry. They're, they're fucking that's hilarious. That's it. They're cousins, they're family, they oh, know each other. Family. Yeah, they're real they're cousins. Dude, like, and that cousins. Gilly guy's hilarious too. Without right? trying. That's my Effortless. point. Yeah. Effortlessly, man. Like yeah. effortlessly. And they really so good, and they speak for like a community of people that are not necessarily being heard in these huh. spaces. You know what I'm saying? Like you yeah. can't fake what they got. I love, I love million dollars worth of game. And they really got something to tell you because they OGs who've done it. And lived right. it. Like if Wallow's telling you to stay your ass out of the street for X, Y, and Z reasons, you should listen to that man. He did yeah. 20 years. You understand yeah. what I'm saying? He's yeah. telling you things for your own good. Same thing with Gilly. Gilly was really in the street. Gilly wasn't just a motherfucker that was rapping. Yeah. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, I got I, I just I, in that episode with Wack, my God, those are three, those are three motherfuckers who absolutely need to get paid to talk shit. Yeah. <laughs> Gilly, Wack, and Wallow. All need to get paid to talk shit. So you put them in the room and just to hear them going back and forth, their banter, they're yelling at each other, they're screaming at each other, but you know it's not disrespectful. You just know that's just how that they talk. real motherfuckers talk when they get together. You know yeah. what I'm saying? It ain't no ego. It ain't no, you know, arrogance. It ain't no beef about to pop off. Right, it's just right. we going to talk loud. Yeah, we going to yeah. be aggressive. Yeah, yeah, People yeah. That, that don't know are going to be scared. Yeah, you yeah, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's that. Blueface looked mad scared when they was going. He, he wasn't used to it. <laughs> Wait, really? Why? What he happened? He was in that? the room. He just looked like sure. shook when Gilly started yelling and everything. And Wack was just being calm. That's the beauty. I love. I love a person who's just being calm, pushing buttons. He was just being calm, pushing buttons. That's what he does. Yo, 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 yo! Don't get upset at Birdman because you couldn't get hot on the label. Ooh! Ooh. I can't believe Gilly Ooh. fell for that. I can't believe Gilly fell for that. <laughs> yo. <laughs> what happened? He started. He oh, I gotta listen. I gotta listen. <laughs> it was good. It was a great. It was a great pod. Their podcast is always great. Though. Wallow's not at all Indian or anything. <laughs> <laughs> Let me call him and ask. Yeah. But I'm on the Hold on, Doesn't I'm he call seem him. West Indian, but like, like Guyana or some shit like that? I'm gonna call him. Cause, why? Because of his face, where he looks like his nose and stuff. I don't know. Yeah, he just his facial features kind of look call, like. Let me it. call. Let me call Wallo. You gonna hook it up to the computer? To yeah, we gotta get them on the pod, man. That'd be That's great. That's my guy. I'm gonna call Wallo right now. Hold on. Oh, it's gonna connect. Yeah. Let me, let me see. Let me see if Wallo picks up. Do I got to put it on speaker? No, no. Just regular call. Oh, shit. Come on, buddy. We got technology out here. It's Wakanda. <laughs> you might be recording a video. Well, I guess we won't find out if Wallow's Indian today, guys. <laughs> Maybe part. I'm sorry. The nope. Maybe he'll call back. We'll see. What else, Taylor Gang? Michael B. Jordan is producing the Shock or Static Shock. Static Shock movie. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'm not mad at that. <clears throat> what else? And Michael Jordan, he is opening a second health clinic. All right. For Charlotte, North Carolina. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Won't care about it next week. Um, <laughs> right. Okay. Won't care about either of those two stories next week. But salute to the Jordans doing amazing things. J Lo facing backlash, calling herself Negrita. Explain this to me, Alex. <laughs> What's Negrita? It's kind of like an endearing term for darker skin. Uh, Latina. Okay. Yeah. Or so why is she catching flag for that? Because she's considered black. more light skin. 
Oh, yeah. okay. I thought it was for. Oh, okay, never mind. Never mind. All right, let's this do it. Huh? No, this is is really interesting discussion. We we're having it on flavor, but okay. it, this is like it's really cool. But I also understand why there's some pushback and like animosity. Okay, right? Because in in Latin culture, nicknames are all often like super obvious. It's really funny. Like if you're short, they'll just call you. I don't know. Um, bajo, bajito, or something like that. Hombre, shorty. <laughs> Literally that. If you're fat, they just yeah. call you gordo. Gordo. Yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. And it's just like, if you're skinny, they call you flaco. They would always call me flaco, right? Okay. Like, And it's just part of the culture, an accepted thing. If, uh, But if you're darker skinned, they call you negro or negra or negrito. <gasps> negrita. What did you say? Negro. <laughs> I think y'all got them in the net. Get it this close. Might be the- <laughs> okay. Blame the Hispanics. Ch- chopped and, chop and screw it. <laughs> <laughs> Please do not do that. They will do that if you say that. Man, that'll be so funny. <laughs> <laughs> Andrew oh, video. Yeah, uh, it will not. I'm going to put salsa on all this shit. Get out of here. So... So uh, I'm sure there's a lot of darker skinned black, uh, like there's a lot of darker skinned Hispanics that are seeing her call herself that. And she's like, yo, hold up. And they're like, yo, people of your skin color have been looking down upon people of my skin color because there's a lot of colorism within the Latin culture. Mm -hmm. Right. So I'm sure they're like, yo, this fucked up. Now you want to call yourself Negrita. Like what's going on here now that it's like it's cool to be black and Latin now that black Latin people are are like embracing their black roots. There's the Afro Latino movement. Was she referencing herself when she said that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But so so I can understand the pushback. Like they're like, oh, now that it's cool to be black, and now that everybody's <laughs> pro black, now that now all of a sudden you want to be black when you were making fun of that before, you were looking down on that before. So I can understand the animosity that goes there. It's probably no different than like I'm sure there are like Africans that were made fun of in school by black people. Mm-hmm. And now they're seeing black people embla- embrace their like African heritage. So they're going, oh, now that, you know, Black Panther comes out. Now you want to fuck with us before you used to make fun yeah. of us. That being said, when you look at how important J-Lo is to the Latin community, her embracing her black roots, because I'm sure as like a child of the diaspora, she has African heritage, right? And her like taking that term in, I think it's really empowering. It's really cool. You know, and I think like a lot of black people maybe that will grow up, a lot of young like black girls will grow up that are Hispanic and they'll be like, oh, she calls herself Negrita as well. Oh, people aren't using it as like a, a term of endearment that maybe isn't seeming as beautiful, but it can be beautiful. I anyway. just feel like y'all like to fuck with J-Lo about saying N-words every every so often. That Remember, could be the didn't case they, Didn't too. they get I mad at her have... back in the day for saying the word, for the, the nigga back in the day? Not back in the day. It was retrofitted. I don't she think she went through it at all when it... she did the song. No, she got, no, she, she got heat for she, she got heat for that back in the day. Really? The song with Ja Rule. Wow. Yeah, I remember that. I remember that. Nobody gives Fat Joe any smoke. That's what I'm saying. It makes, He's that, whiter it, than me. It makes no sense. Yeah. Huh? Fat <laughs> Joe is whiter than me, bro. Fat Joe is like, you no. can just translucent, bro. He's definitely more Fat Joe? Yeah. Fat Joe? Yeah. There's no way. Fat Joe is the color of like the paper you put meat in. Nah, nah, nah. He's he's like well buttered popcorn. Yeah, there we go. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> You're yeah, like yeah. white cheddar popcorn. He's like the butter <laughs> popcorn. You're a white cheddar. I'm as white as you're it gets. white cheddar cheese popcorn. I'm as white as it gets. Fat Joe, you can see through. No, no you man. You tell me that man's darker than me. Bro. Hell no. Come on, bro. That's Joe Crack. Salute to Joe Crack. He looks like DJ Gluttony. Nah, Fat Joe ain't big no more. <laughs> come he on, he come on, bro. Let me do my play off the deadly sins. You don't look like DJ Envy. Yo, Joe, he's a comedian. <laughs> All right? Andrew Schultz is a comedian. Fat Joe put hands on I know. He... If he catch me. <laughs> come on, Fat Joe. Yeah. Come on, everybody get know, these jokes. I don't know if he retired yet. He hey, got some stories. Listen, come listen, on, bro. Listen, I'm tired listen, of rappers not having listen, a sense of humor. Fat, Y'all talking all that shit. You better have a sense of fat, humor. He got a sense of humor. Fat Joe and Terror Squad heard Andrew say, if he can catch me, challenge. <laughs> <laughs> challenge. <laughs> okay. Come on, bro. Let's let's do some um, Ask an Idiot, Taylor. Okay. So... Not included pod wants to know what's worse, wasting time or giving up? What's worse, wasting time or giving up? I think giving up. Uh, I think waste. I think. Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah. That's the one I think. Yeah. Giving up because you just don't know if you're wasting time. Like, exactly. uh, because, you know, you could be chasing a dream or chasing something you want to do for years. I'd rather spend my entire life trying to achieve a goal than spend my entire life wishing I did. Absolutely. Yeah. And you don't know. 
if you're going to achieve it, if you if you give up, you might give up too soon. You ever seen that meme that shows yeah. the person that's been digging, 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 and they literally got one more dig to go, and they've been digging forever, mm -hmm. and they give up, and that shit is literally right there mm -hmm. on the other side. So yeah, I think I think um, giving up. Oh, that's Wallow right here. Hold on, <laughs> Wallow. My man, how you been, man? Peace, King. Listen, I'm on I'm on the podcast. I'm recording the podcast right now. My my okay. guy, my guy Andrew Schultz, he has a question for you. Wallo, I'm a big fan of your Instagram, man. Andrew, I think it's what's great. Up, Andrew, how you doing, man? What's up, man? You have probably the most entertaining Instagram that I follow. I I thought that you were part Indian. Is that not true at all? I really don't know what I'm part. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I know, but I know I'm part something. I don't know. Like I thought I was. I, mean, I don't know. People be saying Dominican, Ethiopian. They be saying all types of shit. Yeah. So, okay. I'm not the only person that's thought that. No. No. Hell no. Thank you. I'm they were all looking at me crazy. Everybody think, like, when I wear my like, when I wear my gold chains on my neck uh, under my shirt, they be thinking like I'm a, like some type of Latino baseball player. Or something. <laughs> like, yeah. like, straight up. I, and I have my baseball hat on. People be thinking like, man, is you Dominican? I'm like, yeah. uh-uh. Not that I, I don't know. You see what I'm saying? I don't know if like, you know, my mom did some other stuff. I don't know. I really don't know. Like, who she did? Was it my dad? Was it some Indian dude? I don't Was it some, some Dominican dude? I don't, you really don't be knowing shit, you know? You never, you never did a DNA test, Wallow? No, you know what? I'm thinking about doing one. Like uh, Ancestry. Yeah. Ancestry.com. Yeah, African. I'm thinking about. African Ancestry is a good one too. I'm, you know well, what? I gotta check that joint out. I'm gonna check them out, and I'm probably gonna just go ahead and sit and figure it out because I just be going with the flow. I don't be knowing. I'm just thinking like you, you mix with something. So you know, it depends on the conversation and where it's going at. If the conversation is good and I'm interested, I'm whatever they think I am. <laughs> oh, yeah. I might be, I might be Ethiopian today. I might be oh. Indian tomorrow. I might be Dominican next week. You know, I that's how you gotta go. I you gotta you. roll with that shit, man. That's hey, me. hey, Wallow, man! When you get some time, you got to come on the podcast, man. We I'm ready, it. man. I can listen. I'm listen. I don't do no Zoom shit. I'm pulling up. I'm coming. To Let's New York. go. That's Wallow, what we want. I don't do Zoom. I, like for real, for real. Me and Gil might yeah. bum rush Reference Club because just to bring the light, just just to let people know, yo, you got to come in the building. Stop all that shit. Like, come on, come in the building. Yeah, man. It, we, man. we we got a couple guests coming next week. You know what I mean? They got to start coming in the building. Yeah. If, if you, I don't, I don't like, I don't, we do not do Zoom. I don't fuck with Zoom with no, with no, no podcast or no interview and shit. I need all, we right there. So, cause the energy is different. Yeah, I'm with the you. vibe is different. Yeah, it's like, dude. people feel, that's just like you interviewing somebody that you never interviewed before, you never met before. It's different than when you seeing them come through your spot, y'all talking before the energy. Absolutely. Relax. Now they, now they want behind the screen, they want to play this professional shit. Absolutely. You know what I mean? I know you smoke weed and drink liquor. They have bar fights, but you, you try to act <laughs> like you don't now. You ain't gonna talk. About, you know what I mean? Because they're trying to be. Oh, they sending it. They got their house all clean back in. That's why every time, even on Zoom meetings, I be driving in the car. I'm down the hood. I'm here. I'm there. I'm not. Because it's like, why is everybody in crib so neat all of a sudden? And we're on Zooms and shit. I don't be understanding that shit. That's a little suspect. I think you capping. You capping on the Zoom. They call it Zoom capping. <laughs> Zoom capping. I feel. <laughs> Hey, I'm, I'm gonna hit you up later, Wallo. Hit me up, man. All, all, right, all love. I'll be up there. All right, peace, peace. man. Listen, I'm telling you, those guys are funny. No, man. effortlessly those guys are great. That Jeffrey Tubin, you seen that oh, guy? Oh yeah, that's Simon. But Simon. free him though. That's fucked up. What happened to him? He don't, he shouldn't be fired. Not at all. Nothing should happen to him. No, he should be suspended. Why? Because you For can't not knowing how why? technology works at 60 years old. Yes, and you can't jack off while you're on the Zoom. Yo, but bro. here's the thing. This is the, the important part of the story that everybody's leaving out. They stopped the zoom okay so they were doing a reenactment of some election shit mm -hmm. right then they took a 10 minute break he went to beat off and muted his shit thinking that would mute the video as well he doesn't know you can't mute video the go turn. to your room exactly fam you got the laptop right there why well, am i gonna go to the room and i'll jack off well, why do you have to what's making you turn on right now anyway listen I think somebody on that zoom yeah somebody on that zoom had him open and i i think the new name for jacking off on zoom should be called tubing I think so. I'm serious. I'm tubing, going tubing is perfect, yo. I'm going tubing. 
I'm just saying, I feel bad for the guy because this old dude doesn't know anything about technology. He, he, his intent was right. He thought he muted the whole thing. He thought he stopped the video. He beat off on his computer, which yeah. is how everybody beats off. Apparently, that's the thing, though. People have been sending me videos since yesterday when I gave him Donkey of the Day. Like, people keep sending me mad Zoom videos of people, of people forgetting to turn off the Zoom and they oh, jacking yeah. off. I'm like, Why? We had a girl on Breakfast Club that said that she just be doing. Oh no, nah, she did that. She did. She said she be putting her. She was like, man, they be that shit be so boring. So she'll stop the video and just start watching porn and just start going at it. That's a double standard, bro. That's literally what Jeffrey She's Tubin mad. did. You're gonna get this guy fired. I don't think he should be fired. Um, I, you, you, it's got to you got to you got to suspend him for the unprofessionalism. But he was. Tr- I always go off of intent. Mm-hmm. His intent was to be professional. His intent. He literally thought. What like because what what otherwise what he muted the audio because he just didn't want you to hear him jerk off but watch him that's weird but if you're in a meeting imagine <laughs> I look at it like this imagine it's a real staff meeting yep everybody's in the conference room yep you can't just be like nah because the second you leave the <clears throat> meeting he thinks he's left the meeting the second you leave the meeting you're out of the conference room you're in your own so space. even if you just leave the conference room you're walking down the hall you can't do this it's not the hall it's no longer the office he's outside <laughs> or he's I at just, his home I just don't think you should jerk off in a professional setting he was trying not to. <laughs> he was trying not to. He was too old to not do it. That's my point. He's old, that, bro. That, that is a good question. Imagine though. one of your parents. Imagine your dad. Yeah. I are going to end up jerking off on Zoom? It is a good question, though. I do want to know, what the fuck got into him? What did he see that he made him that say, plan. I got to jerk this shit right now? He had now. that plan, bro. He had that plan the whole time. That blue chew? He knew, maybe it was that blue chew. Mm. He popped that chew at the beginning of the meeting. That shit started to go in. He knew he had a 10-minute break. He was going to crank that thing out. Soldier boy. <laughs> I don't listen by the way Zoom. Zoom listen Zoom is stressful as a motherfucker I do have to do things to mentally prepare myself to get on Zoom really? I hate like Zoom what? interviews I hate Zoom calls actually this week on the Breakfast Club there's a couple of interviews this year that we did on Breakfast Club one in particular the Nas interview I'm so mad that shit was on Zoom yeah I don't fucking interview no Nas on no goddamn yeah, Zoom you wanna be in the room you know what I'm saying yeah, fuck that you. and I'm gonna tell you something else when it comes to interviews you feel like a pussy why because, I don't mean to say pussy, there's nothing wrong with pussy. I love pussy. I don't know why we call things that we uh, don't like something that we enjoy. But I don't, I'll just take the word back. I just don't like it. And the reason I don't like it is because if I want to ask you a real question, like one of those. Hard hitters? Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to set the stance. You feel like a sucker doing it over Zoom. Because you have safety. There's safety yeah. Right. It's not the same stakes. Nah, man. When you're in somebody's face, My, uh, that's when you, that's, that's when you. Can really hit him with it, like Charlemagne, right like, there. Like, damn, man, yeah. who the hell? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, yeah. oh, by the way, that was your know, this week. Uh, oh, this God. another thing about the internet. There's a clip going around of me interviewing Danny Green from 2013. This is how I know people are really fucking slow online. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they cut the clip to where I, it's me asking Danny Green. So it's Tim talking bisexual, yeah, right? Yeah, 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 right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People were posting that clip and acting like this shit was a new interview. Like they were like, Danny Green's fresh off a championship for the Lakers. He visited, he's been doing interviews. He visited the Breakfast Club, whatever. whatever. I'm like, yo, the studio looks different. My face looks different. They don't care. It's it's 2013. Yeah, they don't care. This is hilarious. Like there's nothing new about this. Let me see that page. Where was he in 2013? Was he with the Spurs? The Spurs. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Charlamagne Tha God should be arrested after he asked Danny Green this question. (laughs) Arrested? <laughs> yeah, that's a lot, bro. Arrested? Man? I think arrested is like new slang. Uh. Notorious radio host personality to the Breakfast Club, Charlemagne the God, asked a bizarre and totally random question to Danny Green. This interview is seven years old, but it has been brought back to the light, and it is just the weirdest and random question ever. He asked Green, "Is Tim Duncan bisexual?" And you. Maybe saying that is weird, but what was the context? The previous question was asking Danny, where was he from in New York? Here's the clip. Now, I personally have never heard the rumors of Tim Duncan being bisexual. That's because you don't do your Googles. And quite frankly, I do not believe there's any rumors of that. And Charlemagne is simply coming up with those on his own. Lies. I know he is known as a very controversial personality, and I guess that is his stick, but this was just bizarre. Another Twitter user found this clip of a question he asked, Logic. And when I tell you he should be thrown in jail, just watch it for yourself. Once again... All of this shit is taken out of context. The Restraint Logic show should have won him a Nobel Peace Prize or something because I do not know if I could have gracefully moved on to the next question. The question I would bring up is, does Charlemagne have that much pull and that big of a fan base where he has not been kicked off of the show? I mean, who is he? Like, what is he known for outside of the show? Anyway, he is wild. The audacity he has in his shtick is not even remotely funny. The best thing I can associate him with is the Birdman interview because that was legendary and the only thing he had to do with it was he just simply 
was he was just simply in the room with him. Lies! Once again, it was my line of questioning that got Birdman to act like that. Birdman came in there angry because of the, because of the things that I've said about him in the past. Furthermore, if you do your fucking research, pull it up, Alex. I can't show it. <laughs> nah, nah, this is too crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> That's nuts. That's son, nuts. You are, That's yo, nuts. Son, you are a That's wild man. Yeah, I was, I I was wild. I was wild. <laughs> Yo, pull, pull up, pull up. Um, go to go to go to Yo, Tim. Son. Go to Tim Duncan bisexual. Wait, which one? Google Tim Duncan bisexual. <laughs> Yo, Yo. You Jeffrey Tubin ass motherfucker. I was a wild boy. I was a wild boy. <laughs> you know you're nervous, but you start. I was scratching hair. You don't have. <laughs> now, no, 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 no. Put Tim Duncan. That's what came up when you Google Tim Duncan bisexual? Put Tim Duncan bisexual and put wife. And I'm going to show you where I got this question from in 2013. I'm going I'm to I'm I'm show y'all who don't do your research. Okay. Now, I want you to... Now, look. Look, 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 at all these, look at all these headlines. Chicago Defender. October 4th, 2014. Tim Duncan is gay, says a strange wife. Wife, wife claims Yo, Tim Duncan is bisexual. I can't watch this shit no more. Yo, I gotta pee. That's funny on Ask Idiot. Listen, 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 oh, oh, Vlad TV. Wife of Tim Duncan claims the five-time NBA champ is bisexual. EliteDaily.com. Ex-wife of Tim Duncan claims that he's bisexual. You know where I got that story from? You fucking idiots. I got that story from the fact that. Uh, oh, click on, click on one of the articles. Click News One. Click News One. Right there. Right there. Right there. Uh, 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 right, right there. Because it's on mad websites, but y'all niggas don't, not niggas, but you stupid motherfuckers don't do research. Okay, posted July 24th, 2013. The headline is, Wife Claims Tim Duncan is Bisexual in Heated Divorce Proceedings. NBA San Antonio Spurs icon Tim Duncan pictured is immersed in a messy divorce that is getting slimier by the day. Uh, hold on, let me get to the part. Um, reportedly, an unidentified source told the blog that Duncan had been involved in a gay relationship during his Wake Forest University days. Um, what's the thing about his wife? Yes, Amy. Yes, Amy said allegedly said this in the divorce proceedings. Yeah, Amy treated Tim like a bitch throughout their marriage because she knew he was fucking his BFF. Listen, I don't know if that shit is true or not. All I'm simply saying is I didn't pull that out of my ass. That wasn't a random question. It's about it's a it's literally that's bossa right. There's literally a million articles about. That and his wife allegedly saying that in the divorce proceedings. That's why I asked Danny Green that because at the time Danny Green was playing for the San Antonio Spurs. Now, would I have would I ask that question in 2020? Probably not. You know what I'm saying? But in 2013, 2014, or whenever that was, yes, I was a wild boy. You know, someone actually asked that. They said, "Is Tim Duncan gay?" Question mark. I, it's Tim Duncan. I just don't like the fact that they act like I make this shit up. Same thing with Logic. Logic mentioned that about his sister twice in that interview. Mm -hmm. Twice. I was responding to what he said. Like, I'm not just out there asking random nut ass shit to be asking random nut ass shit. And, the, and how do these things go viral seven, eight years later with no context? Like people just take them and literally somebody one one website posted that Danny job, Green shit. It's a wild shit back in the day. That's it. Yeah, but they're so cutting. That it wasn't down. wild yeah, though. But if they need something to click on, let me just pull some. They probably shit do. You're probably on the story. top of the list. I'd be like, all right, it's a slow week. Like, let's yeah. just get one. <laughs> <laughs> exactly what it is. <laughs> let's get some retro Charlemagne clips. Yeah. Okay. God damn. <laughs> Whatever, man. Listen, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> that's it there was one it. like if y'all could be I can't find the person who said it but it was like if y'all could be um, in any be professional professional why can I not talk professional athlete what sport would y'all be basketball of course basketball. come on man basketball. Nothing, nothing, nothing better than basketball baby basketball players move basketball players and Megan Thee Stallion have a lot in common because they like tall and they're thick, but they move so gracefully. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So uh, basketball, baby. I want to do basketball all day long. That's it, guys? You think we did it? I think we got it, bro. All right. <laughs> Listen, if you listen to this podcast, you think we're smart. So you think we're intelligent. You think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. If you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right, too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. Peace.